Good morning. Welcome to Sewing Street with me, Vicky Carroll. Until 12 o'clock today, we've got a jam-packed show. Really jam-packed. In fact, though, I feel very, very calm this morning. Paul's back in my ear for one, which is just so lovely. I saw her on the, uh, the fan page a couple of days ago. What's happened to little Paul? What's happened to little Paul? He's back. He's back. And he's just said to me, I actually feel really happy. Which is not like our Paul, is it? not like it but um no we've got a lovely lovely day delphine is eagerly awaiting in the wings she's gonna be joining me this first hour just because i don't know whether those of you that saw delphine's show last time she was on i think the first show was at nine and it had already sold out by then so it said right you've got to come on the first hour to make sure that everybody gets a chance at the kits first though are you ready today's early bird special Big discount, big saving on a product which I know we had as an early bird before and sold out completely. So we've got it back in stock. Always very, very useful to have, of course, your gorgeous Gutemann threads. And I really like the, uh, the fact that you've also got the bobbin clips as well. So you get 10 of your spools and 10 of your clips. So the idea is that you have your spool and then you also have a matching bobbin to sort of slot onto the top like this. So whether you, if you're using them uh, with your machine sewing, with your piecing, with a plique, I know Delphine uses these threads as well for her embroidery with her felting. Uh, they're just lovely bright colours, aren't they? I always think with the Gutemans you get a great array of lovely bright colours, especially these beautiful um, oranges and sunset yellows. You've got all of your lovely reds as well. You've got your greens. You've also got a white. So all great useful colours. What does that make a price per spool, cat? See, we're at 169 a spool and that's without your bobbin clips. Already amazing. Already amazing. Oh, sorry. How do I divide £17 by 10? <laughs> Did you use the calculator, cat? Yes, thank you for making me feel better. Thank you. It's early, it's early. We've been up since, yeah, the crack of dawn this morning. Um, you also do get the, the bobbin mates, which I know if you buy those individually, I've seen a pack of those before for about three or four pounds. So it is a special price, a big saving today. You get 10 of your spools uh, and of course your clips for 16 99 Those of you that wake up nice and early with us, you'll always get a discount. It's definitely worth setting the alarm at eight o'clock. Open your orders nice and early, especially when you know we've got Got Delphine here. I think every single time she's been on, all her kits are sold out. So it's definitely worth no pressure, Delphine. But it's always very, very popular. Um, yeah, it's going to be brilliant today. We've also got the lovely Apple Bottom Tilda, the Table Runner placemats. Um, Apple, what have I just, did I say Apple Bottom? What? It's the Apple Bottom jeans. I'm thinking that. It's the Apple Butter range from Tilda. Apple butter jeans, that song. Uh, what was that, sorry? Oh, the reds would look lovely. In fact, this whole pack would look really nice with the apple butter range, the Tilda range. It'd look perfect with those. Do make the most of it. Check out as soon as you can and you'll still only pay one postage and packaging all day long of £3.95. And it's going to be a brilliant, brilliant day today. So do stay with us. It's always worth as well, I'll always say this, for anybody who buys an early bird, Definitely go onto the web shop because you can stock up on any of your fabrics, whether it be plain fabrics, we've got some lovely bundles coming up later, uh, any of your tools. If you just need any bits and bobs that you wouldn't necessarily just buy on their own, uh, you can stock up whilst you've paid your posting packaging. So have a look on the web shop as well. Uh, right, shall we have a look at the kit? to start with. Oh, in fact, if you've got any messages for Delphine, please will you get them in. If you've got any questions for us, any messages, we're of course a live interactive show. So Kat's logged into the email, which is studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. And of course I can ask Delphine any questions that you may have about any of the kits, the instructions, the her instructions, the her kit, or any of her previous products as well. It's definitely worth even just coming and saying hello. Get in touch with us today. If you are shopping on the website, it's at the bottom of the screen, www.sewingstreet.com, or alternatively, you can speak to the customer service team absolutely free. Uh, it's call from any landline or mobile. 
as I said, uh, we've bought Delphine in earlier. Sorry, we've got her up really early on a Sunday morning. She was like, I've not seen this time on a Sunday morning for a long time. But it was simply because last time we had a kit with her, it sold out before she'd even come to air. So we said, right, we're going to make sure that everybody gets a chance to be able to own this kit. Now, it's only available in the bundles. We've got two different bundles, one with a grey and one with a white. So you get the very, very, very popular... Alison glass panel. You also have your pink half a meter, your green half a meter, your yellow half a meter, your blue half a meter. They all go absolutely perfectly with the Alison glass panel. Those colors match beautifully. And you also get the two and a half meters of the gray. And that is to make up the quilt, which I'll show you in a minute, but it's absolutely Gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous. In fact, I think Kat's gonna send down um, a, a finished picture. Let's have a look at this panel because the colors in Alison Glass are just stunning. So those of you that loved the, the uh, Tula, those of you that love the Tula, uh, there's the quilt. Finished size is 55 by 47 inches. And those of you that loved the cushions before, you can actually make the cushions as well with this kit. Um, and it's going to look equally as beautiful as it, it did with the uh, the Tula Pink. But isn't that a gorgeous panel? It's beautiful. I've not seen this panel used this way before either. We've seen some great applique projects where we've cut, you know, round the circles and applique them onto cushions or onto bags. We've done different things with them, but we've not seen them used this way. It's great instead of being able to, you know, sometimes you're looking on the website and you see thumbnails, different colors, and you're trying to work out which yellow goes best or which pink goes best. Our kit team, we've done it for you. We've done the hard work for you. So they complement each other beautifully. And of course, Delphine is here to go through it step by step but you also have amazing instructions and I must say they are brilliant instructions she always does very very thorough great instructions with lots of photographs with your full-size templates we will go through all of these uh, with Delphine in just a minute but then you also get your templates £49.99 for a full quilt. That's enough for the front and the binding. Or, I mean, get a bit creative. There's so much that you're going to be able to do with it. Those of you that missed out on the cushions, go for it, go for it, go for it. So that's the option with the elephant grey. You get two and a half metres of the grey. Uh, another option that we have is with white, which is the one that we're going to be looking at with Delphine. So it's exactly the same. You just get two and a half metres of white as well. Your instructions included, your panel, half a metre of your pink, half a metre of green, half a metre of yellow and half a metre of your blue. And then you'll also get two and a half metres of white, um, two and a half metres of white as well. Kat's asking everybody to just imagine the white fabric. <laughs> as we've not got it here in the studio, but thank you, Kat. We are imagining that two and a half metres of white is there as well. Are you imagining though, Paul? Are you actually... Good. It says I'm using the power of thought and I'm imagining. We've had a message in from Wendy. Morning, Wendy. Oh, huge welcome back, Paul. We've missed you. I know, we have. We have missed you. Right. Shall we get Delphine on? We have absolutely loved our project so far. Those of you that um, haven't yet checked out on this, start checking out now because we're going to get Delphine on. We'll see you right after this. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket.
Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Everybody. So lovely to have you back and it's so nice to be on air with you. I it watch is, your shows yeah. but I haven't seen you for ages. It's lovely to be back. Always yes. enjoy being here. Uh, the last time you were here it was manic wasn't it? It was. Well yes. before you had even arrived the kits had gone. Yeah I was so so excited. Brilliant. So so happy. Everybody's yeah. been eyeing up the cushions, the quilts. I know um, even the sister channel jewelry maker everyone's been loving them. Lovely. I'm so happy. <laughs> and I, I saw um, somebody actually made the cushion on uh, the Stone Street fan page. Yeah. I think it was Tina. I, to see people make up my kits, I just it's it's the best thing. So whenever you make anything, please share with me because I really really take a lot of pleasure out of seeing what you've created. Oh, yeah. Nice, yeah, definitely put your pictures on and email me at studio at sewingstreet.com if you've got any questions for Delphine. So mm -hmm. um, let's go through the instructions okay. first because you were saying that you can actually, if you did miss out on the cushion. Uh -huh. If you get the kit, you can you'll still... Be able to, you'll still be able to make up the cushions, Amazing. just like before. Um, so I've kept that template uh, the, the, the same, but also using the different colours, using the Alison glass, which works perfectly yeah. to, to make the um, to make the, the pattern up. Um, so, so yeah, so if you did miss out, get them in your basket. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yep. And they're beautiful instructions. You Thank can you. see how much time, it, and you work mm -hmm. with your husband to do all of the yes, technical Nick, sort of You might of be part. watching at home now. Hi. Hello, Nick. Hello, Louis. Hello, Charlie. Oh. My little ones, they might be watching as well. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. But, yeah, he does, um, he does all the, uh, the, helps with all the templates. So I do all the drawings. So because I've got more of a an arty background all I do yeah. all of the drawings and then uh, and then Nick helps me uh, make them all into a template I love the fact that these are all characters as well aren't yeah they? you've named them in I've fact. given them all a name yeah so I've got uh, Howard, with, Howard headphones. with the headphones on uh, Hank Hank's my favorite I love Hank <laughs> Hank's uh, amazing. Harley because he was the original cow Harley Harley and Holt and the one he's got his tie on. He's off to work. That oh, one. they're brilliant. Yeah. They're so good. And, uh, and I suppose it makes it easy as well when you're going through when instructions. You go, so when I'm going through the pattern, because obviously there's going to be different uh, applique pieces for, for, for each character. So rather than say cow one or, uh, you know, giving them yeah. all the step by step number, I just thought it'd be nicer to give them a name. So you've even got their, their mug shots there. Look, with their names on. <laughs> there they are. Howard, Hank, Harley and Holt. Brilliant. So, but it'd be it'd be great to see if other people can make up their own characters. Oh yeah, good yeah, point. Yeah, that's well, a good idea actually. If there's somebody that you know that loves like gaming and things like that, then... that's where I got that idea from. Because Charlie, my um, eldest, is a big gamer, and he's yeah. he's always got his headphones on. So when he saw that one, he thought that was that, that was was really great. Cool. And uh, again, just giving them all different bit characters, bit of personality. Yeah. Yeah, the sunglasses I love as well. That's so cool. So uh, it'd be really great if other people can. It'd be nice to see if people, what other people come up with, or yeah. a, f a female one. A, yeah, a Henrietta. A, oh, good idea. You could have a bow yeah. on the head. A bow, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be lovely. You could go crazy. You could have real fun with this pattern. Brilliant. Yeah. So, what is it that we're going to look at today? So, I'm going to show you how to construct a couple of the pieces. Um, but also, don't be afraid that if you are um, new to sewing, it's although it looks quite a complicated pattern, it's it's not. It's all about the drawings, though. Mm -hmm. So, you do need the drawings because it's not a symmetrical. Um, it's not a symmetrical drawing, as you can see with some of the pieces. It's more if you can trace. Mm -hmm. If you can trace, uh, there we are. <laughs> so if you can trace, then um, you, you'll be able to. You'll be you'll be successful with it. You haven't got to worry about it being. It's not a technical um, okay. pattern at all. So just sewing strips together. But you do need the pet template. You do. What, what do you trace onto? Do you trace onto like a freezer paper or uh, it? just a bit of um, interfacing or bond web? Bond web works really really well because it helps to stop it from fraying okay. as much as well. So bond web. Uh, that's what I'll be using today. Amazing. Yeah. So how many how many packs of bond web do, would you recommend? Oh. They're meter pieces. So to make each one. Oh, I suppose the five yeah. meter rolls ideal, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's roll. what I that's what I use at home. There you yeah. go. Twenty three pound ninety nine. We love a bit of bond web. Thank you. So yeah, should we? Yeah. Should we get making? Absolutely. Right. Okay. So 
Let me get my bits and pieces. So I, don't, I, don't, I won't use those ones because they're nice and shiny. So I don't, don't want to uh, use those ones. So I've got my own. So what we're going to do, I thought I would do it on the white as well. So I can demo, we can see the demo it on the white as well. So, woo! We do have well, slightly less of the white, just so you're aware. If you do want that white background, maybe to go eat cushions, then um, yeah, there's less of those available now. So I have already cut a lot of the pieces up ready to show you. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to do the sewing all the strips together. Where is it? Where are you? There we are. So I'm saving paper, so I've done, I've done them on the, on the reverse as well. So I'll just get my bit of bonder web out. Okay, so when you draw, uh, trace over the, um, the, 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 the pieces, if you have got a light box, that works really, really well, or put it up against the window, but if you have got a light box, it will help so you can see the lines really, really clearly. With your bonder web, you'll feel, if, you don't use, if you've not used bonder web before, feel for the glue side, the scratchy side. So make sure, that you trace over on the glue side. If you do it on the other side, it will be in reverse, it will right. be backwards. Ah. I mean, it's, it's not the end of the world, but yeah. it's just the way I've designed That's it. That's a good tip, yeah. yeah. So with a pencil, not a heat uh, erasable pen like I used last time, I've got a pencil, yeah. So actually, actually Kat, uh, no, I might have to uh, get, get Kat back for that bio. Cat, we might need you for the biro. Yeah, I might need you for the biro. Because that's a friction one, so you don't want to need to raise the ball. No. Obviously, as soon as you go with your iron, all of your markings are disappear. Which is what I did last time, so yeah. I ended up having to cut it out freehand. <laughs> so, there you go. Don't use a pencil, because uh, it will cut through the paper. So, just a biro. I'm going quite uh, quick with this one, but when you're at home, just take your time. There we go. So, just draw around each piece. And I tend to, if you are doing the whole quilt, do it, do each character at a time because there's going to be a lot of pieces. Right, okay. There we are. And it's nearly done. Yeah, you got very quick at it. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That one's all cut out. So I'll just put that underneath there. I'll just get some. Mm. No. There's plenty of scissors all here if you want smaller ones. Yeah, so with, with this as well, uh, a really good pair of scissors. Okay. Small, nice and sharp. You can use a rotary cutter, but you won't be as accurate though with it. There we are. Just cut that piece out. It's starting to come away. Okay, so you'll do that with all of your pieces. Remember to make sure you draw on the glue side. Mm -hmm and not the, uh, the, the smooth okay. side of the bonder web. So let's put that out of the way. Now, I'm using a ruler, and that will be fine, and a rotary cutter. So we're going to take, so with your Allison glass panel, where is the panel of fabric? It's in here. So I do say it in the instructions, but the first thing you'll cut out when you have your Allison glass panel because as you can see for the noses, I've used the actual dark, um, ah. dark part of the fabric. So what you'll do, because I like to use as much of the fabric as possible, I don't like wasting anything. So what you'll do is cut a triangle here. So you cut four of those, just put that to one side, and that's going to be your noses. Right. So that's the first thing you'll do with the panel. So the first oh, yeah. thing you'll cut out is your noses. Okay, so pop that. Thank you. There. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then you'll cut just lots of strips of the fabric, one and a half cent one and a half inches. It's all in the pattern, isn't it? All yeah, it's all in the pattern. So one and a half inches for your strips, but you'll go smaller with your choice of the um, of the plain fabric. So you're okay. alternating from the Allison glass to your colour, your piece of. Um, plain yeah. fabric. So I did do different uh, colours for each of the characters. You can do whatever you like, but it, it is quite nice to mix them up, I yeah. think. Makes it a bit more arty. Yeah, yeah I right, agree. So these ones, you just got that little bit smaller. And these colours do match in perfectly, perfectly. don't they, with Alice in Glass? They're really rich colours, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Really nice and bright, nice and happy. It's a happy project. Yeah. yeah. 
So I'll just cut those. I've had a message in from Christine. Morning, Christine. Morning. Great pattern again from Delphine. Oh, thank you. Do we know the size of the cushions of the quilt? So the quilt finished quilt is 55 by 47 inches, isn't it? So how yeah. big is each block? Uh, I believe oh, that the, each panel is 17 by 20 inches. Okay. Uh, you can do the cushions. Um, these I uh, did at 18 inch square, but I use a 20 inch pad only because I like them nice and plump. Yeah. So I always, whenever I do square cushions, I always do them about two inches smaller than the pad. Oh yeah, that's a good tip. Yeah. So then you'll take your strips over to the machine. There we go, do you want me to? Uh... Yeah, um, yeah, I think that'll be better for me. Is it all right? Pull yeah. stand, it's fine. There we go. Won't be in my way, okay. So then just chain stitch all these together. Now again, you don't have to be, if you can sew in a straight line, or even if it's a big, bit wonky, it doesn't really matter. Because, okay. because the patterns and the fabric, the Allison glass is so good. Uh, with all the different patterns and all the different colours in there, it, it wouldn't, you don't you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't, you wouldn't notice it. Wouldn't it hides your stitching, doesn't it? So, where's my, there it is, a bit higher up, lovely. Why, why isn't this working? Sorry, are you plug, have we plugged your foot in on the side? <laughs> uh, there we go. Sorry, yep, that's we our have fault. Now. We were gassing before the show, weren't we? We, we were like, <laughs> oh no, we're all really ready. We there we are. So again, just sew these in a chain. So I've already cut them um, already. So there we go, back in. So rather than having to keep taking it off the machine, just do them all in, all in a one. Oh, so who's going to take off then? Lovely. Is this the first time you, you've used this machine? Um, I think I have, place. it's lovely. Really nice. It is my favourite machine, I love it. It's got the thread cutter on. My oh, fave. you need a thread cutter. <laughs> it's a game changer having it a thread is. cutter. There we are. And just take that off. So just cut those up. So again, what I'm doing is putting all this, sewing all the strips together to make the hair. So open them all out. I have. Have I plugged you? Yeah. Oh, we got an iron in. Yeah. You plugged an iron in. I've, I've plugged it in. So there we are. Let me have a look at that one. Okay. So open all those out. Then we're going to sew these all together as well. I really like it because it almost sort of makes the strands of hair. I liked yeah. and seeing it as the strips as well instead of just one block fabric. You're almost creating your own new bit of fabric, aren't you? Yeah, and I think that that's why I like playing with them. Um, charm squares and things you know yeah. you don't have to just see it as that small piece of fabric no. just sew them all together to make one bigger one yeah is it lynn did you say who's messaged in morning lynn morning she's gonna miss out on your felting kit oh. she says please will you bring some felting well, back I, I, I am in the process brilliant yes they will be coming back and i'm nearly there I said to Delphine, I want to come on a, she does a fizz and felting evening near where I live. Well, in the town we live, we're very close neighbours, aren't we? We certainly are. So, yeah, in one of our local pubs, she does a fizz and felting that. I'm like, oh, soon, fingers crossed we'll be able to do that. I love it. Oh, yeah, it's, it's just so fun though, isn't it? Just doing something like that. With a glass of fizz, a bit of tapas with your friends. Oh, Lovely. Yes. There we are. Where's my needle coming up? Hmm. I didn't press the button. <laughs> there we are. And I believe just one more piece. So I have just cut the, you haven't got to be really accurate with the cutting. Like I said, just you're just doing strips of strips of fabric. Make sure you've got the, the small foot on as well. If you're using the um, a walking foot, it will be a little bit too wide. Oh, okay. So you might be quite out because I, I do take it right to the edges with the with the um right. with the with the pattern. And last bit. I love the fact that this isn't something that, you know, you need to be an expert so Do you think somebody who is relatively new to quilting oh, can definitely. go with it? Yeah, definitely. It, again, it looks complicated, yeah. but it's quite simple. Just sewing the strips of fabric, it's just all about the drawing, really. It's about the, getting the, 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 the pattern. Yeah. And uh, especially if you're not uh, very confident on, uh, you know, piecing together uh, different parts of a plique. Yeah. It's all done for you. I've even put in positions of a diagram actually in the, um, which my lovely Nick sorted for oh. me. Even pattern placement of where you're going to put all the pieces as well. 
So, oh yeah, so, brilliant. But remember, this bit's not to scale, so this is just for a reference okay. of when you're putting all your pieces together. So you'll draw off the other one, so just make a note that's only for reference right. only. Oh, but I love that. That's attention to detail to just know that, right, and before you start ironing it down or stitching it, place it all down, like you say, do head by head. And yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Because it's got, as you'll see, there's quite a lot of pieces. So if you, um, I think last time I was on, I lost the nostrils. So <laughs> I, did, I, did, I lost my nostrils. But um, I've already glued them on today, <laughs> just in case. So Any particular way that you press your seams? No, I just go straight over. Just go because for it. Uh, usually, if it was a darker fabric, I'd uh, press them over to that one rather than the light side. But with this one, just the one way. So, there's our hair fabric already. I'm going to take the template and glue side down, making sure you just. Get you can in, see in. it more clearly in real life, can't you? Where your lines are, so you're in yeah. your in your your lines that you've drawn. So there we are. I love okay. the idea that you can do this as well. Once you've got the templates and the pattern, using just scraps of fabric, you can put them together and put them onto backs of denim jackets. Yeah. You could do one on the tote bag. You can sort of applique them as well. All sorts, you can put them you? anywhere. Yeah. yeah. And that's in all the different characters as well. So, yeah. But I definitely want to see someone do... Um, do a bit of a hack and doing their own. Yeah, that would yeah. be really good fun. So there, again, really sharp scissors. You could do like musical notes, couldn't you? Yeah. Or some sort of musical, like, what would you, what would you put on? What would you, what would you put on something there? Something to do with ABBA. Something to do with ABBA. ABBA lyrics or something. <laughs> musical notes. We've, um, you can make them really personal as well. My, so my, my, both of my boys really like this pattern. I do, they see me sewing all the time. And uh, there is this pattern especially, they really, really like it. So there, I've got to make them a wall hanging of each one to go in their yeah. bedroom. So uh, Charlie wants Howard. Okay, that's Howard with the headphones. Yeah. And my little Lou wants Hank. And Hank's this one with the sunglasses. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Absolutely so he's love only it. five, but he's, he's, he really This reminds that. me actually, my husband loves snowboarding. Yeah. And he always got their snowboarding goggles. You could yeah, do it like could, as yeah. a snowboarding one, couldn't you? It's almost like he could do with a ring in his nose as well. Yeah, yes. But you can. This is a great thing about the pattern. It's adapting. Like you put little hearts on this one with yeah. the daisy, with the flowers. This yeah. is so cool. He's, he's the romantic one. Oh. <laughs> and uh, Holt, Holt is on his way to work with his shirt and tie. Oh, this is fab. So just having a bit of fun. There we go. So again, at home, take your time. There we go. I've done, I've done a few of these now, so... Last time I was on, I had to do it freehand because I used a heat erasable pen. <laughs> so you've got to do it once, haven't you? To, yeah. To, no, right, I can't do that again. So, uh, luckily, I know the pattern, so there we are. Nearly done now. Just a reminder, remember last time all of the kits sold out. So if you've got it in your basket, please be quick to check out. There's so many of you, again, who have checked out and there's loads of people who've got it in their basket. So just a warning. I'm not here to pressure or rush you, but I'd hate for you to miss out again because there were so many messages saying that any way we can get any more better, we couldn't get any more kits in. So definitely make the most of it whilst you can. And it's something different as well. It is really different. And... Uh... And like I said, you could just do so much with it. You don't have to just do it the way I've done it, you know, just add it, have, having your own little um, characters. Yeah, definitely. We'll uh, make it, hold on, I'm just, I'm just tidying up as I go. <laughs> oh, you can come I've again. I've got a bag of scraps under here. <laughs> here we go. It's more, for, it's more for my own sake, really. <laughs> okay, so where are we? Did you have any of the solids left over from the bundle? Yeah. 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 There's plenty in there. So you can really play around with what colours you want where. Yeah, you're not restricted at all to, oh, I've run out of the green or I've run too yeah. much of the yellow. And also, you'll still have a bit of the Alison glass left as well. Oh, nice. So I think out of the Alison glass panel, I used five of the circles. Yeah. So How you many could are on do here? More. There are eight on here. Yes. Yeah. It'd be nice to add some of that as well onto the back, maybe yeah. onto the reverse, or just using it, like you say, if... You could do some of the cushions that we've done before, just cutting out the circles or, you know, you say the grey, looking at it a bit differently to how you normally would, but... 
it'd be quite nice um, if really you're nice. using the strips and cutting up the strips of the, because obviously I've just used a grain binding, but if yeah. you use what was left over to do a, a multicolour binding, binding mm -hmm. yeah. That'd be lovely. Scrap binding, that's it. So, I'm just going to show, just place these out. So I've just done one a little bit bigger, that's it. I'm going to make this into a bit of a wall hanging. So, you're going to you'll repeat what I've just done with to make the face to make the chin so you've got your hair there and I also yeah he's starting to come together look I think a little mohawk there <laughs> he's like where's his nose see I'm not doing, making the same mistake twice already I've already nostrils. glued the nostrils on there <gasps> I think let's make him cool oh this is brilliant. there he is okay so I also think oh let's do it let's give him some headphones as well so there we go, and here's the earphones, let me put them that way. So would you recommend doing this, laying it out and checking that you have it Definitely, everywhere? Definitely, as you can see, that a lot of things need to be tucked underneath. I do go ah. it through in the pattern, you know, make sure you put the lip down, you know, tuck the lip underneath the nose before you glue, and, and also with the headphones. So it's, it's written, each piece is um, written in the pattern of where you place them first. So here we are. There's a few little bits there. So and um, like I say, it looks so complicated, and it's actually like it's, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. It is. It's, it's really a. It's one of those very satisfying when you see it all come together. It's nice to be able to do with um, the kids as well. Get them yeah. to Ooh. think of a new, a different character yeah. and create their own. Well, it was it was Charlie that gave me the idea for the <gasps> headphones. Oh, brilliant! He says, "Oh, uh, I did the uh, I did Hank first. Yeah, and then he says, "Oh, it looks like me, Mum, but I need I want the headphones." I was like, "Yes, well done, <sighs> Charlie." So another thing, the, the Addison glass panel have got some really pretty uh, pictures. So, so you could even, um, I cut out one of the butterflies. Oh, yeah. You could have a little butterfly on his ear, look. Oh, good idea. Oh, I love that. You have a little butterfly on his, on his horn. And so also the... Uh, that isn't, that isn't, Kat's thinking that you've cut out all these little bits. It's a, it is a white background already on yeah. it. So she's literally just cut around the butterfly. Looks really effective, doesn't it? And so to cut out the, the, the only, the, the, a lot of the measurements are the same for the, the face pieces and uh, the chin. But the one thing that's a little bit different is the, is the horns. So the, the measurements are slightly different there. Okay. So should we do him a quick horn? Yeah. We'll do a quick horn. Do you like the idea of having this on the back of a denim jacket? That would look cool with the, uh, with the sunglasses. Yeah. So I'll just quickly do that one. Love him. Which one's your favourite then? Um, Paul, can I just say that was my idea? He's claiming that as his own. Which one's that? What, the denim jacket? Yeah, he's claiming it. He's like, oh, well, I do have all the good ideas. I'm like, no, I think that was my idea. Oh, he's back, isn't he? Sassy Sue. Um. <laughs> um, just one more bit there. Okay. And again, you don't have to worry about lining up the edges um, as well because you're going to be cutting around it. So each piece has been, uh, each template has been designed that there will be a little bit left okay. uh, around the edge of the template. So again, I don't like to waste fabric. So um, I've tried to do it so you're not going to have much waste okay. on the end of uh, for, for, for each template. So if you are going to be using the headphones, you don't need to do the ears. But again, it's all written down in, in the pattern. So I'll just give this a quick press. Yeah, it's all about how you want to place it, isn't yeah. it? Everybody's is going to be, even though we've all got the same pictures and same patterns, I, I love the, uh, the idea that everyone's is going to be slightly different. Yeah. It's like when you, it's like when you follow a recipe. If yeah. everyone is given the same ingredients, yeah. um, but everyone does things a little bit different. Yeah. Everyone's is going to taste differently. Yeah. And it's the same with this. Yeah. So that was why I really like when I saw a couple of the... Um, People have made up some of my kits. I just love their interpretation of how they've... Yeah, I really like that. So please uh, put some pictures up. I want to see those. I had a message in from Judy. Hello, Said, Judy. Loving the show. And she loves what, sorry? Your kimono. She says, is it oh, going to be made on a future show? Love it. Thank you. Did you make that? <laughs> no. <laughs> 
No. We can make it. We can make it on a future show. No, That's lovely. Uh, quite a popular high street store, oh. I'm afraid. <laughs> I can't take um, credit for it, I'm afraid. It's lovely. <laughs> so there's, uh, when I said about doing the... Um, you always glue on the draw on the glue side apart from when the pattern's reversed you don't have to um, trace over the pattern on the other side right. which some patterns I've done before all you need to do is draw on the smooth side okay so all of the pieces are on the glue side apart from the ones that are reversed which is only the horn and the ears everything else is on the glue side Put this back. Oh, I've got also a smaller one here. There we go. And so we've nearly completed him now. Uh, just on the back. Let's glue him on. I love the fact that you're not going to get bored doing this. There's so no. many different things from you tracing out, you can do that sitting in front of the television yeah. and sitting cutting and then you've got your pressing and you can almost do yourself a bit of a production line of how you're going to stitch in your strips together. Yeah. Then having a go at doing some free motion if you want or doing quilting however you want to do it. Yeah, so I, at this one I finished with a, a bit of the free motion quilting. Uh, again, no pattern, just, yeah. just doing my own thing. In that one I just kept it quite simple. Mm -hmm. Oh, imagine actually, if you've got the early bird, the thread, you could also do some really lovely bright quilts on the grey or the white. That would look lovely. Yeah. Even just simple lines like we saw on the, this one. And there's his last horn. So what we're going to do is just going to quickly glue them down. So, And then I'm going to show you how to do a bit of binding as well. I know that we do... We do show a bit of binding, uh, there's, uh, but everyone's got their own different ways of doing yeah, it, and I've yeah. got my own way of doing it. Um, well, that's it. So, and I think eventually, I've, I've tried lots of different ways, but this is the way that worked for me, so yeah. I'll, I'll go on to that in a bit. Now, when you're sort of happy with your position, it's good to do that on the ironing board, isn't it? So that yeah. then you're not. Be, make sure you're happy, happy with, with it. Because yeah. uh, you don't want to be uh, pulling it off. No. Uh, so, ooh, what's happened to him? Oh dear. <laughs> He's had a He's few shanties. He's back to the pub, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so have you used um, uh, wadding in between here? Yes. Which so, one have you um, got? So I've just used a little bit of wadding. If you've got a fusible wadding, that's really great. Oh, yeah, so your H640. Yeah, so it, stops, so it stops it moving around. So just scratch the backs of each one. And then I tend to iron as I go. So I know that the... the, the um, the collar. If I if I had a bit more time, I would make the bow tie as well, the the tie as well. Are you positioning this in the middle of your fabric? Yeah. So when to get the middle of the fabric, um, I what I did do. Oh, I should have showed you how to do this. Um, just get your uh, your fabric panel, and you're gonna fold it in half, and then half again, and that will get your centre point center. of the fabric again. It's all written in the instructions. So that's that one. Let's give him his little beard. Sorry, I'm making a mess again. Right in the middle there. I love how colourful it is. It's fun, isn't it? So yeah. It's a fun, fun project. But then sewing's supposed to be fun. Absolutely. Isn't it? So let me just move him out of the way. There we go. And just glue them on. Once you've positioned it, do you have any wiggle room with Bond Web? Can you, if you... I, uh, I have taken a few off before. It's okay. It just, yeah. just uh, if you are going to be moving it out of... Um, so you'll have a bit of glue on the fabric. Yeah. It will go on the iron, though. So really think, yeah, make sure you've yeah. got it in the right place. So, but I'm, I'll guarantee that you'll, at some point, you'll... Uh, especially when you're just not thinking about things. Like you say, you're in your own little world, and I'm definitely in my own little world when I'm sewing. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, I'm having to concentrate today. There we are. So, there's a few of the pieces that you only need to just tuck underneath. So there's my nose. It's already made these nostrils. They're not going anywhere. So would you have glued that? You do it literally like you've done now. Glue them on, but keep your back, uh, the back of the, the paper on yeah. whilst you're gluing your nostrils on. Yeah. So otherwise you'll stick it to your ironing board. Yeah, because otherwise it will stick to my ironing board. I do need a new ironing board cover, actually. <laughs> uh, Maybe that can be our next project. I think probably a few of us are thinking that. Oh, making an ironing board cover. 
That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, I, th I was saying, you know, you, yes, you need a sewing machine, but you almost need your iron more yeah. when you're sewing. So yeah. a, good, a good ironing board. So, yeah, a few of the pieces, you just need to tuck them under. So position the nose uh, first and then just tuck the lip under before you iron. And also, um, each panel, sew them down before you quilt mm -hmm. because they'll fray. Ah, uh, okay. So if you're going to use, I just used um, a, a blanket stitch to sew mine, but uh, a zigzag stitch is fine. And if you're just going to use it as a wall hanging, just mm -hmm. a straight stitch right. is fine because you're not going to be touching it. So do you need to sew, after each piece, would you sew around each one or are you going to... Iron them all on and then sew around. Iron them all on and then just sew around okay. what, what edges there are left. Yeah. So otherwise that'll be a lot of sewing. So that's why I tend to use the uh, the bonder web because you'll be once you've sewn that on, you'll be going through all the layers. So yeah. you don't need to yeah. sew them all individually. So let's get your, uh, the horn off. There we are. Nearly there. So you can see how quickly it comes together as well. There's these other horns. So again, because I'm going to put the headphones on, I I won't use the ears. I love this because I'm like the least arty person. I'm so bad at drawing. Like I'm really bad at drawing. So I love this that it is literally, I've got all the templates and I can create something really arty and really cool, literally putting together a puzzle almost. Yeah. It's and really it, achievable. And it's quite modern as well, I it think. It's really modern, yeah. And it's, it's like you say, Artwork. I, when I look at it, I'm just like, it's just cool. I'm yeah. Just, you know, and it's fun. And uh, this one doesn't want to come off at all. And uh, yeah, and I think that's what it should all be about doing so, just doing something a bit fun and just, yeah. you know, not taking yourself a bit too seriously because you can't with this. No, I love this as a wall yeah. hanging. I think, yeah. like you say, this would make a really cool wall hanging. I think this will end up in one of the boys' bedrooms, I think. This has got a bit of. <laughs> it won't come off. Have you tried to scratch it with a pin? We've done this before. So I, I see Debbie do it. Yeah. Scratch it, but I just tend to just wriggle Peel it. it. Just, oh yeah, just it's satisfying, it isn't it? There we go. It's coming off now. Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been here all morning doing that. Here we go then. Nearly, it's nearly all together now. So just pop that piece there. Make sure that you're happy with the position, because I'm about to go in with the iron now. And this one, back to the pins. <laughs> Sue sent a picture um, to the fan page for you as well. Oh, has she? Uh, when the cushions are too loud. I think uh, Paul's got it actually, he can show you. Oh, oh wow! There you go. Love making amazing. these cushions. Just need to get the inserts now. Love the colours. That's from Sue Watkins. Thank you, Sue. L love those, Sue. I like the scrappy binding as well. Yeah. That's a really good idea. That looks really... so cool. I like the way she's quilted it as well. Nice yeah. and simple. Lovely. Thank you so much for your pictures. Keep them coming in. Keep yeah. Them coming in. Oh, see, I love that. That's what it's all about for me. Yeah. Seeing other people create, you know, create well, what's in my imagination. That's fab. Thank you so much for that. It's like when you know you go to a concert and I watched this documentary, I think it was about Ed Sheeran or something, and he was saying when someone sings back your lyrics to a, at a concert, it's the strangest yeah. thing. It must be the same feeling oh, as is. Ed Sheeran. Oh, well, I can't <laughs> be the same as Ed Sheeran. Oh, but seeing that, that's, that's made my day. Lovely. I'll have to I'll have a look at that. In a yeah, there's, there's lots on there. And my headphones. Oh, sunglasses. Let's see. Oh, nearly there. Nearly there. And you can play around with the stitching as well. So I did a bit, a bit of top stitching over on the glasses. You could even put a little bit of reflection on there. Uh, I'm committed. I'm going in. <gasps> there we are. Are you going to glue? Let me, t let me turn you up a little bit. Yep. We're still on. We're still on. There we go. Yeah, I suppose when you've got quite a few layers, it might just take yeah. a minute. Yeah, I, I tend it. to give it a little bit of steam. Bit of steam. Do you, you won't get glue on your iron, will you? You all right? You don't need a pressing no, cloth. No, no, don't, I don't, I don't get any glue on the iron because it's all on the back. Yeah. We talked about that last time I was on. I don't know if anyone's done the uh, paracetamol tip yet. What? On the no. Iron. 
No. You've not heard that one. No, I haven't. But Kat's just saying about it now as well. What's yeah. that? So if you if you have a look, at, you've got a nice clean oh, iron. Is that a hack? To clean it's your a hack iron. of cleaning your iron. I was wondering because I was on it when I was doing this one with Debbie. Uh, I've talked about it with Debbie and um, and again, I don't, she hadn't heard of it either. But if you get the, the chalky paracetamol yeah. and if you've got a black iron with all the glue yeah. on, you be careful with your fingers, have, turn it up really high and then just brush it all against it and it goes with like a liquid and it cleans your eye. Oh, yeah. I do love a life hack like that. Somebody told me the other day that if you, you know, when you've been cooking and you've got garlic and onion, yeah. if you rub your fingers on a stainless steel, yeah. And it will get rid of the smell. Yeah. Did you know that? I've, I've heard of that one. I listened to um, a, a Chefy podcast, uh, and uh, they, they do like cooking hacks. Yeah. And uh, they had that one on there. What was the other one? Oh, if you turn your marmite jar onto its side, that's what the little dimples are for to collect your marmite. Ah. Oh. Yeah. And a grater, if you have a grater on its side, it's supposed to be used on its side. Yeah. When you're grating cheese, you go, you go that forth. way. I have seen that one. And that's it doesn't curious. go everywhere. There you go. Back to sewing. <laughs> <laughs> one more. There's another one. Um, who was it that... Oh, no, gone back to sewing. I'll remember it. There we are. Oh, what was the other life hack I've got? Well, say a life hack. You know when you use things differently. Oh, <laughs> this is really funny. But you know the tequila bottles with the little um, sombrero... Sombrero yeah, hats on? Yeah, yeah. That's supposed to be where you put your salt for tequila. Ah. Oh. It's, I know what you, what it's the you mean. same. It's yeah. It's the same thing that you put the the glass yeah. in. I don't like tequila, but no. But somebody said to me the Not other day that. about it. I was like, no, that's for that. There you go. I've got a bit of glue on your iron. We can pra we can have a go at giving it a clean. There we go then. So I've just glued all those pieces down. If I had a little bit more time, I probably would give him a tie as well. Oh yes. But there you go. What should we call this one? Um, give this one a different name. Paul. <laughs> Paul said, he's got hair, he looks nothing like me. Because you could play around, even though I said to not put the ears on, you could probably... There you go, you put, put them up there. Yeah, that's cool. Should we, put, should we do that? Yeah, yeah, he looks cool, doesn't he? Yeah. Let's put, let's put those up there. We've still got about 12 minutes anyway, so we'll be able to do some binding as oh, well. Oh, okay, yeah. So I definitely want to show you the binding. Stick these down and then I'll just move this over to the side. Yeah, I like his little little tufts of hair up there, look. And like I said, you could put so the, cool. the little butterfly on there. Right then, so we should we show shall I show you some binding? Oh, it's so cool, I love it. So then at this point you can go around stitching it yeah, with Yeah, you'd, you'd stitch it you'll go around and stitch each piece down. Well okay. just what the edges that you can see. And you say you did blanket stitch, blanket you could stitch. do satin stitch, yeah. couldn't you? Lots of, I mean the machine six eighty has got such a, a great array of um applique stitches. Do you use a contrasting thread? Have you used a grey on here? I just used a grey on that one, but I on the on the other one I think I've just used some different like bright colours, whatever yeah. I had really. Yeah. So just Again, those colours would be perfect. These. Yeah. Yeah, these, these would go really, really well. Yeah. The early bird would go really, really well with all the colours in the Anderson glass panel. So, the binding. With each... I've got little bits of paper everywhere. So, the binding I've just cut down to two inch, inch, two inch strips. Okay. So, it's a plain fabric, but if you did, if you were using a pattern fabric, make sure that they're right sides together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew from one uh, top corner down to that corner. Right, so this is joining your pieces together. So I'm together. joining the pieces together. So... Yeah. I do think if you do it this way, you don't see a line as yeah. clear, so, and do you? It, you don't see the line, and it also makes it stronger. Ah. So that's, that's, why, that's, well, that's why I do it. Yeah. But, um, and then, again, remember, you remember you're doing the right sides together, so otherwise it will be the, other, the wrong way round. Back to the machine. So I've just done three strips today. I really enjoy making bias binding. How, uh, it's, one, it's one of those things that I really enjoy doing. <laughs> a lot of people who make up loads and just have it there, then ready yeah. the other day, just making loads of different colour bindings. So how long do you need it to be? How long, how do you know how big you want it to be? If you're doing a cushion, for example, do you just Measure around I the just perimeter. measure around it, yeah. I, uh, I always make more. Yeah. It's like when I cook, I always make more. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, my portion control's not great, and it's the same with bias binding. I Pasta's tend to the hardest have one. thing, isn't it, yeah. to do portion well, it doesn't control? Look, it doesn't look a lot when you put it in the right water, does it? as well. Yeah. I always have way too much. It's meant to be a handful, Paul, saying. Does it feel enough, does it oh, really? Oh, another hack. You Go know on. the uh, spaghetti spoon with the hole in? Yeah. You put your spaghetti through there, that's supposed to be a portion. Oh, my word! OK, there you oh, go. Go to all ear. <laughs> I know, I learned it loads today. So, I'm going to make sure that that bit's in the middle, and I'm just going to press. Send in any of your life hacks, if you know anything that, you know... Uh, the, these you are just ones that I think are right. I might be wrong, <laughs> but... I... There we are, so I'm just going to... So, yeah, it's quite quite quick, but I do enjoy making binding. And oh, 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 it's all right, it's fine. <laughs> She's okay. Sturdy, very, yeah, strong machine. And it's also, um, you know you're at the end of the project. Yeah. When you're binding. So, folding half. So. Is this the way you explain to do it in the instructions? Yep, yeah, and there's fo I've done a step-by-step -step photographs, how to do Fantastic. the perfect mitred corners. Lovely. Um, again. I think like you say, when you spend so much time doing your, the, the actual quilt, it really makes that difference, doesn't it, when you've got those lovely mitre corners and lovely neat binding. Nice and tidy. Nice to finish. And last little bit now. Yeah, this would look really nice, I think, if I, if, if I had a bit more time to do it in different the different mm -hmm. colours. So you say this is two inch strips that you've started with. Two inch with. strips, and yeah. Is it the same binding? Would if you were to do it as a cushion, would you still use the same? Uh, you might do it width? a little bit smaller. Okay. Um, it all it all depends what type of finish you want, okay. really. Because I think some projects look really nice with a really chunky binding. Yeah, yeah. Whereas some, if you want to draw the the eye into the quilt, then you you want to keep it quite small. Okay. So I've got that crease. So I've ironed that crease out. There we are. So now, I'm just going to fold them into the middle. Now, I don't have them touching. I have them just slightly open. Only because it, 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 if you, it stops it stretching when you put it round. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. I'm not making much sense, am I? No, I understand. So, once you get that bit going, the rest is quite easy. Nice hot iron. And watch your fingers. And there we go. So you, you can get those little tools, but you know the little tools where you pull all uh -huh. the fabric through? You could just pin that you yeah. bind to the mat, couldn't you? Um, have you got enough binding in the kit? Uh, have you got enough fabric in the kit to be able to do oh, yeah. your binding yep. as well? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, it's just uh, five strips of the width of the grey, that's all. Mm -hmm. And again, there'll be a little bit left over. So, but if you are going to be doing the, uh, making a, um, a scrappy binding, then you might need a little, a little bit, a little bit more, uh, only because you've got to take into account you're sewing the ends together. Right. There we go. So I'm usually like this over my ironing board. <laughs> this is a bit, <laughs> bit taller. I'm just very uh, conscious that I'm not going to hit the sewing machine again with the iron. There we go. How much time have we got left? Shall I keep going? Five minutes. Five minutes. And then I can quickly show you how I attach it. So pretend that I've done all of the binding strip. I can imagine. So imagine I've done it. And then I tend to, as well, just to finish it off, before you um, wrap it all up, I'll just go over it again like that. And I'll do that. So there you go, there's your binding. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Easy. There we are. So, I have quilted all of this. I've already done all the free motion quilting. I've stitched it all down, haven't yeah. I? Yeah. 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 We're with you. So, let's show how we attach. Now, there's two ways of doing it. If you want a really nice, neat finished, you'll start off by sewing it to the front and then turn it over to the back and then you'll slip stitch it. Uh, by hand that's a really tidy finish so if you're going to do it for a gift or competitions or mm -hmm. anything like that 
or Slips do it stage. do it that way or like me if you just want to get it done and get it a quick project then sew it to the back and then turn it over and then just top stitch it with your machine right so your eye is always drawn so anytime you look at a picture or quilts or anything like that is always drawn down to the left hand side so that's where I always start right so I'll just do you one and I'll show you how I do my mitered corners I wonder why that is do you think it's because we know to read from left Probably. to right yeah I don't know, we'll have to Google that. Mm. So leave a little bit of space, about an inch or two. So you never start on a corner, you'll always, always give yourself a bit end. of a run up on the straight. Yeah. So, and a couple of inches down as well. Now, so again, I know everyone's got their own little ways of doing binding. This is my, this is my way. Now, once you get to the end, about just about a quarter of an inch, leave the needle in, turn it, now this is where a lot of people take it out, or lift the foot and then square up the, um, the binding. But what I do, I then sew on a diagonal to the corner, and then I take it out. Ah, okay. So you, a lot of people pin it, or mm -hmm. take it out or turn it in the machine. This just gives it a really nice tidy finish. So, and then you take the, the binding up, away from you. So I've already sewn that down, oh, so there's no yeah. pins in, the, in my way. And then I put it back down again. So it's nice and square. Back to the machine. And then again, you start about a quarter of an inch in from the corner. And you carry on. And then you'll do it again and again. So pretend I've gone all the way around with that. Yeah. So then when I bring it back. So you do all four corners like that. All four corners. And when you finish at the end, oh, in fact, I'll show that bit in the bit. So then fold it over. There we are. And then you'll sew your top stitch, all of that. And then that will give you your perfect nice. lighted corner, nice and tidy. Oh, that looked beautiful. Like you say, just had in, uh, just spending a bit more time like you say you can yeah. top stitch on the front but if you want to stitch on the front and slip stitch, stitch on all the, back, the way back it will look beautiful as well and then with your ends if you've gone all the way around you'd fold one end over so you'd fold one end oh so you open it out and then fold it and then when you with the other end you'll just tuck that in and then it will be nice and neat and you've got no more edges showing lovely so there it's good are. to see different ways of doing binding, isn't it? Make sure you jot down today's date and you can watch it back as you're sewing and sew along to get all the tips. There are a lot of you that have got it in your basket. Please do check out. Uh, in fact, use this break to check out. It's going to be another sellout, I think. Well done, everybody who's already got it. We're going to be back with Delphine in an hour. Yeah, lovely. And we've got the apple bottom. Apple butter. <laughs> apple butter. <laughs> apple butter Tilda. I really love this table runner as well. The colours are lovely, aren't they? They are really lovely. Lovely. Really nice. I've also done the little cushion as well down there that I'll get out as well. Amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. the pencil one. Yeah. It's under here. I'll show you after this. Thank you ever so much. Thank you. Amazing see you as in an always. Hour. Yeah, we'll see you in an hour. Do not go anywhere because we've got lots of fat quarters, lots of fabric all coming up right after this. Don't go anywhere. Hi there. My name's Alison Marion and I'm thrilled to be joining the Sewing Street family. I live in Staffordshire where I run a couple of sewing groups and I have a passion for vintage sewing machines and also applique. I've stitched in some form for as long as I can remember but I absolutely love teaching and helping people stretch their skills and hopefully demystifying some of the techniques that can be quite daunting for beginners. So I'm looking forward to meeting the team and getting into the studio. See you soon.
Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw, and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now, this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions, and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products, or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines, and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. That's the same me back. <laughs> <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same me back. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in the school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Hello, I'm Kerry from Living in Loveliness and I'm delighted to be part of the Sewing Street team. I'm based in Wolverhampton and I absolutely love working with fabulous fabrics. In particular, I love working with fat quarters and showing you how to get the most from your scraps. I love bringing communities of sewists together and encouraging people to sew for greater causes. Most recently, we have been sewing for our NHS and key workers. Um, I look forward to bringing you hints, tips and techniques. I'll see you soon. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel jewellery makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck. Hello, welcome back, welcome back. How is everybody this morning? I'm interested to see all of your, uh, to hear all of your life hacks, by the way. Delphine's got me thinking of different ways of 
measuring my portions of spaghetti. <laughs> Those of you that weren't watching the last day, I was just telling me that the, you know, the, the spoon that you serve out your spaghetti, the hole in the middle is how you, you, you do your portions of spaghetti. Learning so much today. And of course, as always, her demo was amazing. Her kit was gorgeous. Well done to everybody who's checked out on their kits. It is nearing up, uh, well, be quick to, I don't want, I never want to say never because I know how many people were disappointed last time when it completely sold out. So do make sure you're checking out on the kit as soon as you can, sooner rather than later. You haven't missed out yet. There is still availability, but so many of you have got it in your baskets. So good luck if you manage to get it well done. One pin pee all day long. Now, we've got fat quarters, we've got fabrics, we've got some inspiration with some books as well. Uh, it's a really great hour to sort of Get your mojo back. Maybe if you've been doing lots of sewing during lockdown, you're all sort of thinking, right, I don't know what to make now. I've got lots of great inspiration and some stash builders. When you're looking at this neutral coil bundle, you can't go wrong. Half a meter of each of the colors. Every single one of us is gonna need this in their stash. Uh, it, it's, it's really nice to be able to have such an array of half meters all the time on our on our web shop. It's definitely worth, if you buy anything in a live show, having a look and seeing what's there. These are your neutral core fabrics. So you get half a meter of each. Half a meter of nude, which is the top one. This gorgeous, like a latte nude, it's beautiful. Ivory, half a meter. Half a meter of cream and half a meter of white. Sometimes it's nice to have that stark white, it's very dramatic, but then sometimes you wanna make it slightly softer next to different fabrics. Also lovely, again, I'm thinking with the nude, I mean, for, for bag making, for toy making, for linings, for cushion fronts, for cushion backs, for backgrounds, if you wanna start doing a plique like you've just seen with, with Delphine, if you want to start creating your own uh, a plique pieces on the front of a backdrop, it's nice to have that just neutral background. Also, if maybe you're starting free motion quilting or having a bit of a play with some rulers or different quilting, it'd be nice to again have maybe the early bird and those bright colours in your threads and using just a neutral colour. It's always going to be useful in your stash. We all have different personal preferences on colours and what colours we use the most of, but half a metre of each, that is a lot of fabric. Bearing in mind, let me show you, half a metre looks like this. It's 112 wide. This is your quilting uh, weight cotton. So, I mean, don't get me wrong, you can still do your bag making, you can still do um, lots of things with, you can dress make with quilting weight fabric, but it's, it, just so you know, it is um, absolutely ideal for patchwork and quilting. 100% washable, 112 wide, 12 pound 99 for four half meters. Lovely neutral. It's a lovely colour that is actually, isn't it? It's nice to just see them on the telly as well. If you're looking on the web shop, they're always there, but you just see the sort of small square pictures. So it's nice to be able to see, right, what they work with. And if you do want me to put any of the colours next to each other this hour, of course, let Kat know, emailing in studio at sewingstreet.com if you want to email, and I can, of course, put any of them together for you. That's £12.99. We've got a, a few different bundles, actually. We've got different fabric colors i've got what this one which i believe is the tropical ocean whether you're using them all together in a project or whether you're choosing to do them is individual um you know in individual things you could do beautiful seas and lovely uh greens for trees and plants really nice colors together so you've got cadet blue on top you've got chartreuse sapphire an emerald. So if you want more than uh, you know half a meter of any of the others uh, of any of these, then have a look on the web shop. And, uh, and this one's called Cadet Blue. This one's Chartreuse, Sapphire, and Emerald. Emerald. Twelve pound ninety nine for two meters. If you are multi buying at this stage, they've already come pre cut. So if there is one of those that you really like the look of, but you want it by the half meter, if you want uh, you know meters continuous, go onto the web shop and you can get them. Twelve pounds ninety nine for two meters of your green. It's called. Oh, hang on. This is green. Core, have I got the wrong one? Which one's the tropical sea? Or have you just called this tropical sea? Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Tropical Ocean is this one. It's £13.96. Pence. 
the green's cool, we'll do next. It's just nice to be able to have a bit of a, an array of colours. You know, a lot of fabric shops, they may store a green or a couple of greens, whereas with these, uh, of course, we've got the warehouse facility, which enables us to bring you so many different shades and lovely colours. These would look nice as well with the, uh, with the Alison glass panel. Sorry, this would look lovely with the Alison glass panel from the last hour. Top on 99, you've got Jade. This gorgeous, uh, like a tealy peacock blue. It's gorgeous. You also have Chartreuse again, Mint and Emerald. All half metre pre-cuts, ready to go. £12.99 half metre. Sorry, not a half metre, for four half metres. We did a, a big rainbow mega bundle, which absolutely flew out. It was, I think, 21 meters or something. I mean, a, a lot of fabric. But if that, you know, if you you're not uh, you're not after a huge array, but you just want to dip your toe into a few different color options, these would look really lovely as a bargello together. Or you could use these as I've seen some great contemporary quilts where they just use big squares and big blocks of these colors would look lovely. Or just, as I say, stash builders. £12.99, that's half a metre of each of those colours. Sunshines and yellows next. This is what I find uh, brilliant about, you know, shopping with us, is that you do get the chance to really pinpoint different colours and choose different colours. So, for example, if you've got any of the... Um, I'm just thinking, if you've got different colours and you're like, right, actually, do you know what, I really want to match in this colour, which yellow am I going to use to match in? Whereas a lot of fabric stores, of course, no fault of their own, but they just don't have the stock, the space to store their stock. For all four different yellows, you've got lemon, half a metre of corn yellow, half a metre of gold, and also half a metre of sunshine, and they're all so beautiful. Instantly just make you smile. They're rose and hubble fabric, so they're really gorgeous quality cotton. Again, they are your quilting weight cottons, £12.99, and it's 112 wide. Just means your designer fabric goes further as well. If you're spending £8 and a half metre on designer fabric, I think it's always good to just add in some solids, like Delphine has done with the Alice in Glass panel as well. It not only sort of breaks the eye up so that you almost uh, draw more to the pattern fabric, but it makes it go a bit further, doesn't it? Great to have all of these different colours. The pinks. This is the last one that we have, by the way. Your berries. Very nice indeed. Oh, he's back, everyone. Very nice to have Paul back, isn't it? Uh, so this time you're getting four of your half metres. So if you think about that in terms of a fat quarter, eight fat quarters for $12.99, $12.99. It makes it one pound 62 a fat quarter. Those of you that have been to a festival of quilts or if you've been to any of the exhibitions and if ever you see fat quarters less than two pounds, you have to go in with like a high vis jet vest and a, and a whistle and elbows out ready to dive in. Cause it is just one of those, whereas you can sit by the comfort of your own home and get these absolute bargains. And I must say again, they are quality rose and hubble fabrics, really beautiful quality solids. Just 12 pounds 99, great for quilting, great for bag making, for cushions. Lovely with your Alison glass panel as well. So this one, raspberry half beater. Fuchsia, which we only have available in this bundle, not available by the half meter. That's not available on the um, the website. This was beautiful. Amethyst and pomegranate, all half meters, twelve pounds ninety nine. They're really nice colours. Okay, so they're your half meters. And remember, a uh, fat quarter is half of your half meter. We're going to do some fat quarters. Let's go for, let's start with Liberty. I didn't know that we still had the Winterboard collection like this in stock. So Winterboard House, Paul is in Birmingham. It's in Edgbaston uh, and it's absolutely amazing. I really, really, really want to go. Um, you, can, you can visit, you can go there. But look at all of these fat quarters. <gasps> this is now the last of stock. 
all of these beautiful fat quarters. I'll open one out so you can see the size of it. Those of you that watched Hannah's birthday show, she picked some of these fabrics out for uh, her birthday. They are absolutely beautiful and look at how many you're getting. I know that they're folded like fat eights but they are fat quarters. I will show you. $42.99. If you love Morris & Co, if you love William Morris, you'll love this collection from Liberty because it's from the same sort of, um, taken on the same era, Winterbourne House as a, as I say, beautiful, beautiful house in, in Birmingham, which is, it, it, it's sort of taken inspiration from the arts and crafts era of uh, where William Morris and, and Mae Morris was, of course, very, very, very prevalent. £42.99 for all 11. So that one's gorgeous, isn't it? And they're Liberty Cottons, they're Liberty Fat Quarters. The great thing is about getting a pack like this is you're really diving into lots of these different patterns. Whereas if you go to Liberty London, don't quote me on this, but I'm sure you can't buy them by the, um, I don't think you can even buy half meters. I think you have to get a meter. Uh, I'll open all of these out because they are absolutely gorgeous. They work together so, so well, and you've got different scales of print. All of the different scales of print. If you've got any of the Wendy Gardner books or any of the Fat Quarter books, they are so, so beautiful. £42.99. How about for little gifts for people? Even if you're starting out sewing, I was talking to Jane Greenough about this with cross stitch. You know when you're starting a new hobby or starting, and you just don't want it to look childish, you don't want it to look babyish, like, oh, well, you've obviously just started out. I think if you're doing some really nice, simple projects, like a little tote bag or drawstring bags, or pin cushions, things that are useful, scissor keepers, you can make it with Liberty fabric. And I mean, you would be able to go, you would be able to do so much with this fat quarter pack. It's gonna go a really long way, especially like I say, if you use any of your solids to go with it, uh, then like your chartreuse maybe with this one, if you are to, uh, to put it with any of your solids, it's going to go a really long way. This is one of my favourites. Now you've got two different scales of print with this. You've got the larger poppies and you've also got the smaller ones. But a fat quarter, still a lot of fabric. There's books, we've got inspiration that you can make so much just using a fat quarter. £42.99. What about with greys or greys and pinks? You could pick out some of the pinks in there, couldn't you? Just having it as, as a cushion. I asked Kat the other day to have a look at how much a Liberty cushion cost you and she was saying, oh, it's gonna be at least sort of 40, 50 pounds. I was like, and the rest, she looked. And it wasn't the one that was straight away, the first one, 120 pounds. And the rest. Yeah, the tote bags, everything's so expensive. But it's Liberty, it's iconic, isn't it? When you're looking at these prints, you don't need to be uh, an expert sewer and, uh, you know, a, an expert on quilting designer fabrics to, to know Liberty London. They're beautiful. You could make so many. Whether you're cutting them up and sewing them up together and doing some patchwork with it, or whether you're just using it as solid pieces to do a front of a cushion with a lovely piped edge, or if you were to do tote bags, or even fussy cut and appliqueing and making your own Liberty fabrics. Look beautiful. If you're gifting them as well, it's just special, isn't it? It's really special. This would make a nice gift for somebody that does sew, actually, because they come in a lovely box. All presented beautifully. This one with the um, the plums and the this would look nice with the pink with the um, if you want it. I think it's available by the half meter as well. It's called Wood Haze on the website. Inspired by an ex exquisite arts and crafts period house, the collection draws upon the interior and the family who once lived there. Traditionally screen printed onto um, Lassenbury cotton. Is that right? The Winterbourne collection is available in three complementary colourways, offering subtle hues of pinks, greens and neutrals to contrast the rich berry and navy, ready for you to craft your own masterworks. They're beautiful. We've also got, there's the navies. They work really, really well together, don't they? We're limited on this, by the way. We are limited. The only colourway that we have in this available is this one, by the way. We did have it in teal and in grey, but this is the only way of getting it now, is with the pinks. It's not a pink pink, though, do you know what I mean? It's quite a grown-up pink. This is lovely. 
So that's the smallest scale print. And they've thought about that when you're quilting and you're doing patchwork, thinking about different textures, different scales of print together. That's another one. I mean, you're getting loads of fabric here. I've not even really scratched the surface. I know we're limited on this, by the way. Less than 10 of these now remaining in stock. In fact, less than eight. So if you do want uh, to make the most of it, it's only available. Don't think we're gonna be able to get these back in, do you? Don't think we will. The creams are lovely as well. What's that? Speaking to buy-in, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it back. This one's called um, Is it Milfleur tulips? Yeah, Milfleur? Something like that. Milfleur tulip. Uh, how's your Italian going, by the way? Have we heard about this yet? So I've told everybody at home, Paul, that you've been busy learning Italian all through lockdown. Every day he was doing his classes and I spoke to Paul a lot throughout the... How's your, how's your Italian going? He said I was loving it, but then what's happened? Oh, okay. It, okay, so he, on his classes they were saying things like, oh, the mouse is in the sugar or the... Yeah someone is in the kitchen and he says I don't think I'm going to be using that <laughs> have you um have you started doing or have you not can't you find phrases that you want to know how to say oh you just learn on the class okay how lovely are they I mean we haven't even got through them all I'm probably not going to have a chance to open all of these because we are limited limited there's still another three do I have time do you want me to show all these as well Yes. This is the navy blue. Just a pocket square or just, you know, using them with your dressmaking as cuffs or inside pockets. How indulgent is that? Lots of these I think are available on the, uh, by the half metre. I'll show you in a minute how to find them on our website. So that's £42.99. Uh, we've got the navy blue. I'm trying to fold these all nicely again. I'm so sorry. Thank you. My folding classes have gone to pot. Oh yeah, I'm doing. Um, yeah, I'm. I think through lockdown, I think lots of us have been making different resolutions of things I want you want to do, and I'm going to do. Um, I've enrolled to do a pottery course in September. Yeah, like ghost. <laughs> Kira's like, we're going to have to have a potter's wheel at home. After two weeks, I'm like, yeah, I really like this. And it just starts getting really messy in the kitchen. Oh, Ghost has always been my favourite film. It, it was inspired by, I saw a vase that I loved in Brighton and it was £300. So I thought, I'm making my own. I'm going to go on a course, I'm going to do the same. And I think that's how a lot of people get into making and crafting and dressmaking is, uh, you know, you've seen something in Liberty that you love. You've seen cushions that are Liberty London. You think, do you know what? I'm going to do it myself. Um, Kat, you bought some, uh, what was it? That, oh, Calico, wasn't it? And you were making yourself a bag. Made it. She says, I made it last night. This is so exciting. So uh, have you got a picture of it? She says, I've got to do the lining. So hang on, are you going to do like a drop in lining and bag it out? Very nice. Or a binding, because you can bind it instead, couldn't you? Very nice. Did everybody see um, Paul's T-Rex? No. He did an origami T-Rex. There you go. That's what I did in lockdown, learnt some origami. That's what I was going to do for uh, mine and Kieran's one year anniversary. It's paper and I was like, oh, maybe I should make some origami. We had fish and chips out the paper though, instead. That was our anniversary gift. This is the one that Hannah had, by the way, uh, on her birthday show. It's really lovely. That's all of the 11 fat quarters. So much fabric for £42.99 and it's liberty. If you do want to have a look at any of the half meters, in fact, you know what? It's really limited, but if you go on to www.sewingstreet.com, Paul, um, and if you go on to the, just the main 
top page. Don't worry, it will redirect you to Jewelry Maker website. I'll show you. So at the top where it says search product or name, just type in Winterbourne. Yeah, there you go, it's come up already. It's got a U in. It's got a U. Did you mean Winterbourne? Yeah, we did. There you go. So, all underneath, they are the half metres. So we've literally got a handful of these fabrics available by the half metre. But if you loved any of those prints and you want to do some dressmaking or larger projects on the Winterbourne house, it's so easy to locate around the website. Definitely worth, if you've bought the early bird or if you've bought anything else, it's definitely worth going through and, and having a look on the web shop. Okay. Sorry, I will put them in the box properly later. Where should we go now? The natural fat quarters, is it? Oh, these ones. Okay, I've got the Hessian ones, I've got the spotted ones. Let's do the Hessian ones. So this is brilliant because I saw Debbie making actually, she did um, like a coffee cup holder, make, made it quite shabby chic. It was very country kitchen-esque, isn't it? Imagine doing like nice little jars, if you've got any jars that you're turning into candle holders or using them for kitchen accessories. When I got married last year, we used so much Hessian, and Hessian was everywhere. Little confetti bags, you can make little bunting, and $8.99 for four fat quarters. It's lovely. And they're going to go with all of the half metres that we had earlier on. It adds a bit of different texture, doesn't it? Working with your Hessian. So, uh, you've got a linen fat quarter, two jute fat quarters, and then obviously your, your Hessian as well. £8.99 for four fat quarters. That's a great price. Once again, your price per fat quarter. Crazy. Very, very low. They'd be nice as little pincushions as well, or, you know, little kitchen makes. Someone said that they made um, with Hessian, like um, garlic bags. Do you keep garlic in a bag, Paul? I didn't, I'd never heard of that before. But no, these are ideal. Look at that, that's lovely isn't it? I'm thinking with some lace, or some nice buttons, or ribbon, hanging hearts. You could fill it with lavender, couldn't you? Smelly little sachets to put in your, your knicker drawer. Okay, the, the printing ones, this one. This is the hearts one first. I don't know, I think that one got hearts. So this one's got a heart, it's also got the spots, it's got a gingham, so it's an actual gingham, it's not, a, it's not printed, that's an actual gingham as well. And then you've got the other spots with the, the brown spots this time. So that's brown and natural, all four fat quarters for £12.99. See, quite often we've used these for different projects, haven't we? In fact, in the Wendy Gardner books, which we'll come to in a minute, and I haven't seen the Fat Quarter Toys book before, but I bet these would be really lovely for, for those as well. If you do want to get some inspiration, I'll, I'll, we'll have a look through some books. But just the gingham prints as well are just so lovely. £12.99. We really missed you, Paul. <laughs> All of his puns is... He is funny. Um, okay, in fact, can I have a look through this book? Because this is the first time that I've seen this. Ready, Teddy, go. So 50 toys for creative play uh, from your fabric stash. This is brilliant. So all of your templates, all colour coordinated as well. So space saving, but you'll be able to trace all these out. Oh, these are so cute. So loads of templates all there at the back. Uh, stitch library, so you're going to learn how to do all of the different embroidery stitches. Skittles. Oh, I saw John Con Morgan doing this the other day with hopscotch. Look at these. Little sleeping bag for a... Uh... Oh, I used to play this. But you know, I really like the fact that we're all... 
thinking a bit more, obviously, about environment and sustainability and reusing things. And instead of having, you know, lots of different plastic games, I think it's really nice to make something. Maybe uh, making for, for somebody who births at birthdays or different things to keep them busy during uh, summer holidays coming up. These are really nice. And you can chuck them in the wash as well, can't you? They're little catching fishes. Fishies. Your dinky dinosaur, five-eyed alien. Oh, there's something for everybody here. Something for everybody. I love the uh, Ursula, Ursula the unicorn. Little teddy bears. I love the photographs. They're really beautifully designed, aren't they? There's bears. Oh, look at the little pig. Hungry little piggy, it's me. Look at him. Oh, he's cute. Oh, and the bee. Honestly, I love this book. There are so many really, really gorgeous projects. 50 projects? Right, I'm not going to even work this out. Price per project is pence. 25 pence a project with all of your patterns in here. Something for everybody at any age from, you know, like nice little rattles and bedtime buddies. Ring stackers, newborn baby little blankets. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Really gorgeous book for just £12.99. That'd be a really nice gift for somebody. Oh, Connect Four. Four in a row, I should say, sorry. I was playing, I love playing that game. The Skittles. So great interactive games as well, aren't there? And talk you through all of the different stitches. They're lovely, aren't they? I like the idea of making, you know, maybe a local nursery school or just neighbours or friends that have got young kids. I think it's more sentimental when you've made it than buying, you know, a board game that's plastic. You can personalise them, couldn't you? They're gorgeous. I'll always remember, and when you have, I've told you this before, but when you have uh, little toys like this, I'll always remember Suki. Looks very much like this. I wonder if my mum and sister are watching today. But um, Suki was very, very real to us as little kids. Suki was a pencil case, but actually, <laughs> she was real. <laughs> oh, when my sister was in hospital, she was literally like her best friend. Like, she was our best friend. Suki. I always think if you if you're gifting something to a young child, like honestly, they're they're good friends, aren't they? Little toys like that. Okay, let's do the Tildes. There you go. They were laughing at me at start, and then Paul's like, "I remember Harry. I have a gorilla called yeah. He's still got a gorilla called uh, what? Harry. And you've got Ralphie, the gorilla." Cat stit, sorry, the giraffe, uh, the Ralphie the giraffe. I know that you still have, um, you still, uh, on lots of our, on lots of our, yeah, lots of our Zoom house party FaceTime sessions on lockdown, we saw Ralphie. Cat saying, I am 25 years old, but I still love Ralphie. Okay, the Bon Voyage, the bon Voyage collection, or five fat quarters. I've got this one and I've got this one. All five fat quarters. Am I allowed to open this? And I'll tidy it away nicely. I will make sure I fold it back up. But these are so lovely. Um, if you love any of Delphine's projects that are coming up, you'll love this collection as well. The great thing about Tilda is that you can mix and match it with all sorts. In fact, these would be really cool for the Highland Cow as well, for the project before. You could mix these in with some of your solids. They are beautiful. Maybe pick up on some of the blues or some of the yellows or the greens, the, um, the subtle pinks. All five of your fat quarters. Remember, fat quarter, I'll open one out so you can see the size. Half of a half metre. Looks like this. Nice little ditzy prints as well. So if you are fussy cutting or, you know, doing um, some smaller prints, smaller cuts, they're going to look lovely. They go with everything as well. The great thing is that you can really mix and match it with so many. You could mix it with your berries, 
See, maybe with the purple would look nice. They go really well with any of your other Tilda collections. That one's a nice colour to go with. Definitely get your berries. If you have gone onto the web shop and are uh, buying by the half metre, well done. There's lots of people who have, um, have taken our advice and have done that. These are really lovely quality. Again, remember they're designer Tilda fabrics. I don't know if we've done Tilda by the half metre, have we? Can you get to it? You must be able to. You must be able to because I've seen lots of people who've done it. Um, yeah, we've just not bought any here yet. All five of your fat quarters for £22.99. Pence. So we've also got the larger prints. Oops, no, I haven't. I'm so bad at putting um, things back. I think you just speak too soon there, Kat. She's like, oh, she's done it, she put them away. Thank you. This one's lovely for fussy cutting. I'm thinking for English paper piecing as well. Because you've got lovely fussy cutting, op I love a fussy cutting opportunity. How's your EPP going, Kat? This is lovely, isn't it? I'm imagining you could fussy cut. There's so many different elements. You could focus in on lots of different parts of this and it would look like different fabric. Oh, you've ran out of your so long glue. You need to get some more. Have we got any in stock at the minute? Sold out. <gasps> Go get some more. These are lovely. So we've also got it. I'm going to put this one on top of it. With the blues. I really like the blue on this. I know that song's in my head. So our uh, producer, Hannah, she always sings Jolene when Delphine's here. You know, Delphine, 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 Delphine. It's in my head now. So Hannah's not even here. Hannah's not even here today, but I can still hear her singing it. Um, what is that? Have I heard that slowed down? Jolene. Jolene, no. Jolene slowed down. What do you mean? Records, yeah, you can change them to 45, not 75 on the record player. It sounds amazing. How d it's a thing. It's a thing. Has anybody else heard that message in? This is the uh, greys, again, with the lovely detail of your bunnies. I've got it upside down, but you know the spin it. There you go. That's so pretty, isn't it? Would you put that with maybe... Look, with your mint green. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's designing in there. Our oh, cat. This one's lovely as well. This is true, Tilda. I love Tilda dolls as well. Uh, toys. You could do some beautiful Tilda, like nice little clothes to go with. Maybe your fat quarter toys, these would be perfect for that. Yeah, that one's really nice, isn't it? This would make a lovely purse or bag, toiletry bags or... Uh... Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? They're ever so soft. I must... Uh... I can't deny these are absolutely beautiful quality. You can really feel that gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Again, that spear minty blue coming through, that minty colour. £22.99 for all five fat quarters. We'll go a long way, but absolutely, if I were you, I would be adding in maybe some of the solids to your order and you can make the most of uh, your designer fabric. It will go that bit further. That one is one of my favourites. What about this one? They all go so well together as well. This is the great thing about Tilda Collections. If you've bought any of the Apple Butter range or if you've bought any of the Tilda Collections, they're all going to work together beautifully. The Tilda in the next hour is already selling, by the way. This always happens with our Delphine, you know. All of her kits, very, very popular indeed. Those of you that haven't yet checked out on the quilt from the last hour, definitely worth checking out on that whilst you can. I've got a feeling I could be, if you watch on a replay, I would still definitely try. At the moment, as it currently stands, at 9.37, you've still got time. <laughs> You've still got time. This one's beautiful. I really like that for fussy cutting as well. Um, 
We've also got, right, a really, I can't believe there's any of these left because the price on this is wrong. Um, we're going to do the pastel fat quarters. Uh, is it this, these ones? Today, I mean, for all of these fat quarters, they're twelve ninety nine. How good is that? What does that make our eight fat quarters? What does that make our price per fat quarter? They're so affordable. They're really beautiful. Again, one sixty two, less than two pounds. You don't need a high vis jacket and a and um and a whistle to make the most of this deal today. You can go for it. It is quite limited, but they're really beautiful cottons. Okay, there's only seven of those left in stock. They're like those lovely sorbet colours, aren't they? They're like lovely ice cream colours. Oh, I love it. Like your minty green, your blue. We're going to have lovely uh, ice cream weather again this week, aren't we? I think it's all this week, it's going to be hot. And then as of next week, it's going to be even hotter again. Excited. Although I, I did learn my lesson, I wasn't very well. I had a... Um, You've got to, I think I do, I'm typical sort of English going out thinking, yeah, the sun's out and spent a bit too much time in the sun. You did the same, didn't you? Drink lots of water. SPF on. I did, I did, to be fair, I do. I will always wear, um, I always wear a high, high factor, but yeah, I just um, sat out in the sun too long, didn't feel too well the next day. £12.99 for eight fat quarters. That's a lovely lemon as well. And that orange is one of my favourites. We've done a lovely cushion, a plique cushion with that one before. It's a lighter weight cotton. They're so pretty. Literally down to the hat last handful of those if you want to make the most of it. I'm not going to unwrap it because we haven't got um, enough to go around. The purple florals are the ones that I, I picked out earlier. And they're really dramatic. These are so cool, aren't they? I liked these with the yellows. Seven pounds ninety-nine. So I will put them again all next to each other. That looks lovely. The detail is gorgeous. Quite exotic, aren't they? Like your garden, these lovely florals. I must say, Paul, you're going to be giving Hannah a run for her money when it comes to being green-fingered, being a uh, in the garden. Paul's garden looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. You've spent so much time, manual labour out there, the last few months, haven't you? And your ditzy print. I'm just going to unplug the iron. I've just realised it's still on. Yeah, still not done. And does this remind you a bit of uh, Liberty esque? A bit Liberty esque. It's beautiful. All four fat quarters. Seven pounds ninety nine. Oh, I'm thinking if you want to put this with, I picked out yellow earlier on, but I'm also thinking purples. I do like purple in bedrooms. I always think that purple is a lovely colour for a, a bedroom. This is because it's relaxing, isn't it? You always think of lavenders, and uh, I think this one would probably go best. Is this the amethyst? See, straight away, it's once again going to make your fabrics go a long, long way. And it goes absolutely perfect with the purples are in here and in here. What about as a lining? So if you're using these as a front of your bag and you're incorporating this colour in, they'd look lovely. That's Amethyst, by the way. Don't forget to type in, um, right now, because we're on Jewelry Maker's website, if you type in Amethyst, probably a lot's going to come up. So uh, the item code... The item, or type in 100% cocktail, in fact, and it will come up as amethyst. Or your item code number for that, what was it, Kat? M for mother. Um, L for litre. You're not doing the phonetic alphabet, are you? Litre. L for lima. J for Juliet. 94. Have you got that one, Paul? No. Oh, it's here, M-L-L-J-94. Thank you, that's Amethyst. Just type in 100% cotton on website and you'll find it. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, right, what next? Cat? Yeah, right, so we look at a lot of fat quarters. Let's give you some more inspiration. I love the toys. I think they're brilliant because they're, they're quite sort of interactive toys as well, aren't they? There's lots of brilliant projects in there. We've got one for the home and also one uh, gift ideas. We'll do home first and it's all using fat quarters. So if you've got lots of pre-cuts in your stash and you're wanting to have a bit of more inspiration, this is a brilliant book. Once again, the value for money is fantastic from Wendy Gardner and it's got lots and lots of lovely projects for him and for her for all ages for all occasions £9.99 bearing in mind you're getting loads loads of techniques and tips throughout so it talks to you about what uh, things you're going to need to get started so things like stabilizers and interfacings battings and waddings threads and fabrics it talks to you about what tools you're going to need what ones are useful to help sort of separating the essentials to the the gizmos and gadgets but also uh yeah what's going to help you out different marking tools measuring tools cutting tools all the techniques used throughout the book, there's a whole chapter of techniques from seaming to buttonholes, patchwork and quilting, different ways of quilting, uh, the free motion, plique like we were doing with Delphine, twin needling, decorative stitches, trims, binding, it looks like she's done the same way as Delphine was doing earlier with the, with the binding adding zips so great transferable skills i mean that is itself is a, a book in itself isn't it of, of great techniques and then we get into the projects that would be a nice gift for somebody cafetiere cover cafetiere cozy keep our coffee nice and warm different place maps coasters great way of using up your scraps or fat quarters Oven gloves. I think we've got Fermilam in stock actually. If you do want to do anything that's got uh, like heat, it's not heat resistant, but it's sorry, it's not heat proof. It is heat resistant. You'd probably need to use a couple of layers in um in your oven gloves. So it's not not completely heat proof. Um, the I, I like different ways of using an embroidery hoop to use as a wall hanging or an organizer is a great idea. Pin cushions, flower power pi pillow. I love these coiled fabric bowls. I've seen them in interior design shops and they're really expensive. But once again, going back to being a bit more aware of the environment uh, and going for the more eco-friendly choice, not plastic everything. Years ago, we were always, everything was, you know, quick and easy plastic bowls and plastic everything. Whereas it's not only obviously great for thinking about sustainability, but also really on trend, having these lovely coiled fabric bowls, where it be fruit bowl or a bread basket or storage tubs. Uh, what about for somebody you know in your family who's who's on Zoom chats and meetings on their their iPad or tablet? This is brilliant. So otherwise, how many of us started off <laughs> not very good at doing them? I was constantly like, hang on, what angle can I do this? I'm trying to prop it up different places. I was like, Mum, why is it facing the? Why is it? Why is your Zoom looking up there? She's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Couldn't do it. We've all got the hang of it now, haven't we? But it's nice to have the little rest. Slippers. Maybe when you have guests coming to stay. Guest room slippers. Craft baskets with lining as well and pockets on the inside and outside. How to be able to do, a, you know, in like a wicker basket. Knitting bag. There's loads of projects in here. It's £9.99. pence. This is what you need, Paul. Gardener's apron. And a gin and tonic bag, two bottle bag, I like that. Not only just, uh, you know, one bottle, two bottle bag, two bottles of Prosecco in there. Please do drink responsibly. Maybe, uh, yeah, that'd be really nice. A lemonade, lemonade and lime, I was thinking of an alternative. Pims. <laughs> Dotty notebook cover with Liberty, they'd look lovely ways of doing cushions so there's some lovely techniques and all your templates all your patterns uh, uh, at the back there £9.99 there's so much uh, with your full-size templates 16 different projects there less than a pound a project also have the gift 16 different sewing gifts again using up your fat quarter stash things again that are transferable skills so things that we learned in the first book um, again sort of covered in this book talking about the different tools and all the different techniques 
adding trims and adding binding, adding zips. So in here we've got bags, we've got little makeup uh, and toiletry bags and makeup rolls, but you can adapt this and use this as an art brush, you know, like paintbrush roller or uh, crochet hooks, storing your different marking tools for when we're able to go to workshops, when, all they, when they start up again. Little summer short shorts. Paul likes short shorts, don't you? Fat quarter short shorts, absolutely. Scissor keepers. I know that Debbie, she keeps all of her wonder clips in a cup like this. You could do little tops, they look cute, don't they? That'd be a nice gift for somebody. Little eye mask, uh, eye mask and a neck pillow. Maybe if we are going on a long haul flight next year or, you know, when we're able to go on our travels again. Your tablet sleeve. I'm excited to explore this country a bit more. I think that's, if I've taken anything from this lockdown is I've absolutely loved exploring where I live. Just going out on walks, I found that I would never have found if it weren't for lockdown. I've gone on so, same, Paul's saying exactly the same. And it's made me really appreciate where I live. I love it. And I just think now this year, it's certainly, I definitely won't be going abroad just because I think actually our country is so beautiful. There's so many different places to explore here, isn't there? So I'm quite excited for that. How many miles did you walk last week? 35 miles! No, longer. Yeah, that's amazing. Different ways of using your flying geese unit into bags as well, patchwork. Oh, we need to go on a hike. I went to the Malvern Hills, it was amazing. Little zip pencil case. Two-tone teddy bear. Nine pounds, 99, with as well your, uh, your lovely Christmas stockings. Got to start thinking about that, haven't we? Can you believe we're already in July? And we've got uh, all of your full size patterns in the back for £9.99. I must say, I have gotten really into my walking as well, Paul. We need to go on a hike. So many people, by the way, have been looking ahead onto the website. I just want to give you a bit of a heads up. Those of you that are like, how do I do it? I don't want to miss out. So if you go onto the uh, www sewingstreet.com it will redirect you to jewelry maker but don't worry we're using their page at the minute we're using their page so our catalog is there where if you click on plain fabrics that's all right <laughs> just pulling my trouser <laughs> click plain fabric paul Clickety click, scroll down, and here's all of our fabrics that are available. So you've got all of your cottons, you've got your viscose dressmaking fabrics, uh, you've got those lovely mixers, those magenta cotton mixers as well are lovely, and they're only $3.99, and a bit of texture to your solids. Uh, we've got some bundles on there, some of the fat quarters. Oh, there's that rainbow bundle. It's there, hang on. Can you see the big rainbow on that one? If you click it, does it say out of stock? <gasps> Add it to your basket. Go, 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 go. It's got a £14 saving. We thought that had sold out. If you want all 21 and a half metres, make the most of that. Did not know that was there today, otherwise we would have absolutely had that on the show. Take advantage of that one, that's amazing. And also, if you go onto um, the Watch Live page underneath, Past the sewing machines, you will see all of um, all of the products that are coming up on today's show. So you'll have seen Delphine's kit for the first hour. You can still check out on that. You can also start checking out on the Apple Butter range, the Tilda collections, and the amazing uh, instruction set, which people are already checking out on. Also, a couple of questions about the 680 Plus. That was the machine that Delphine was using. Yes, if you do want to um, check out the 680s, always my choice of machine. Love it, absolutely love it. Got any questions, get them in, get them in. Can I just quickly flag this up as it's very, very popular indeed. Indeed, It's been the most popular bundle. In fact, we've only got five bundles left. We will get more and we'll have them by the half metre. But I think sometimes when you see them together, you think, yeah, that works. They will look absolutely beautiful together. £12.99 for two metres.
half a meter of lemon, half a meter of sunshine, half a meter of gold and half a meter of corn for all £12.99. £3.95 posting packaging all day long, only one PMP. That one's very, very, very popular today. What happened? <sighs> Paul's back, isn't he? We're so pleased you're back. You've had so many lovely messages coming through for you, Paul. Everyone's very pleased to hear Paul's back in with us. I've not seen you for months and months and months. £12.99. Yes. Oh, also, in fact, do you know what? Have a look at this. All the beautiful colours, and they would go absolutely perfectly as well with your uh, with your Gutemans. They'd look lovely with your Gutemans. Uh, I know that this is the pack that Delphine actually uses as well for her uh, embroidery. See, I would never think of using, you know, a, a is it fifty weight um, show all sort of thread for embroidery and it, she says it works so well because of the colours. So you get a choice of all of these lovely shades of reds and yellows, you get your greens, you've got pink and you've got a white in there. So great value for money in just your threads, makes it less than two pound a spool. Um, you've then also got 10 of your bobbin clips. So you put your spool on and then on the top you can load up your bobbin with the same matching colour to keep them nice and organised together. £16.99, special price today for the early bird special, available whilst stocks last. We had it available as an early bird, it completely sold out, we've managed to get some more in for you. It's £16.99 today, but it is your sew all thread, so you can use this in your bobbin, you can use it for your machine piece, and you can use it for your applique, you'd be able to use this. In fact, this would be really nice with the project that we had earlier with Delphine for the applique, sewing round would be great using those colours. That's today's early bird. Um, we've got some tartan. Now you can't you can't reach in and feel this unfortunately. If you press your green button now, <laughs> no imagine, but it's so soft. I don't know whether you can sort of see that this is lovely and fleecy. It's so so soft. It's gorgeous. So you have a fat quarter of this lovely tartan. Do you know what I mean? You can see it. Uh, this is um, more of a looser, a looser weave. They're lovely. They're really nice. Uh, all four of these tartans. I'm thinking again, along with your hessians, or to do little um, hanging hearts and things like that, or a lining of a wicker picnic basket. A little doggy doorstop. A little westy. Yeah, that would be cute. So you could even do some applique with this. You could have your background of, of grey or of white and almost do like your Highland cow in tartan. Oh yeah, definitely get this and have a go. If you've got the pattern, if you manage to get the cushion or if you've got the pattern from earlier, it's 6 99 You've already paid your 3 95 postage packaging. Definitely get these because you've got loads of fabric and that would be really nice because it'd be quite a textured Highland cow. Oh, I definitely want to see this. Please, will you post it on the fan page if you make the Highland Cow with your tartan? That's such a great idea, even if I did think of it myself. <laughs> That's amazing. Right, £6.99 for all four fat quarters. Have a good browse of the website over the next few minutes. Check out your basket. Have a look at the solid fabrics. It's always a good time to sort of stock up your stash on any of the half metres. Um, we've got Delphine going to be joining me next again with Tilda with the apple butter range all coming up. Check out your baskets, have a look at the kits. Don't go anywhere though, Delphine's joining me after this. That's the same with that. <laughs> My favourite piece of kit with the sewing is the seam with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in the school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country.
See you on the show. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hello, I'm Catherine Wright. I'm from Leicestershire Craft Centre, which is based in Market Harborough. I love all kinds of sewing, but probably my favourite thing to do is dressmaking. Um, but I also teach patchwork and free motion embroidery and anything to do with textiles, really. I love to have a go at felting and crochet and knitting and, oh, you name it, I'll have a go at it. Uh, so I started sewing when I was seven. My mum taught me to sew and the very first thing I made was an apron. But I'm a terribly impatient person. I also just want to get on with the project. So I uh, didn't wait for her to help me cut it out and I cut it out myself and I didn't know you had to have a seam allowance. So I made the world's smallest apron and my mum still has it somewhere. Um, so uh, sewing tips, I would say, I teach a lot of people to sew, especially beginners, and I would say don't get disheartened, take your um, learning journey slowly, don't expect to suddenly make a ball gown or suddenly make a king size quilt, build up your skills, um, you know, slowly. Um, and I would also say the iron is your friend. Use your iron a lot. It makes your sewing look so much better. It helps you get things in place where you want it before you sew and is a really handy thing to have. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. And anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Would you like to take part in our weekly competition? If you do, then all you have to do is head to the Sewing Street fan page group on Facebook. Post your picture of your make. Myself, Debbie Shaw and John Cole Morgan love looking at all of your makes every week. We pick our favourite and announce the winner every Friday live on the show. Happy sewing and good luck.
Hello there, I'm Debbie Shaw, and I would love you to join me on the first Monday of every single month for Sewing Street Surgery. Now, this is a dedicated hour where I answer your questions, and that could be questions about techniques, it could be questions about tools, it could be questions about new products, or maybe something that you've seen that you just don't understand. There's a lot of questions about tensions on sewing machines, and there's a lot of questions about working with different weights of fabrics. So if you have a question that you'd like to ask me, the easiest way to bring a question over to us is to go to our Facebook page and post your question on there. I will collate all of those questions throughout the week. If we need any new products for you or if we need any new demonstrations, those will all be worked on leading up to that first Monday of the month. So do join me, Debbie Shaw, on Sewing Street Surgery on the first Monday. Welcome back. Honestly, days that you're here, we all get so excited. Oh, we really do. You. We love having you here. And I love this, being here. Um, just going quickly back to the first project. Yep. Loads of people have checked out on it. Absolutely Excellent. love it. Did you hear my idea about the uh, tartan? I love the tartan idea. I did hear about that. And I thought if, if you just draw around some of the template and then you could have like the four different tartans, yeah. that would look really lovely. Would that it? would be timeless. Yeah. That'd I think cool. that's a really good idea. Christmassy. <laughs> well. Yeah. That's a good idea, yeah, actually. Christmas project. Perfect. perfect. So this has something completely different. Yeah. Tilda. Now, you've done some work with Tilda before, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, a couple of times now. I've worked with the Bon Voyage range that you had on earlier on. So yeah. beautiful. And I like the way you put in the little greens with the grey, the greys that you yeah. want, because there's so tiny little bits of the green and the yellow as yeah. well so you can they really jump out but i love the bon voyage range yeah. oh, it's that's beautiful. really lovely this is apple butter today which yeah. i think actually tilda's collections she uses similar tones that they all yeah. work together uh -huh. anyway yeah. don't they and i love this but it's just happy it's a happy it's a happy and colorful day today yeah isn't it? it is but yeah i just love these colors spell like party or beach or mm. fairground yeah it does yeah. absolutely they're lovely and you get the solids as well which are yeah. the tilda solids yeah so they're really good quality perfectly. as well so they quilt really well oh, so nice. when you uh, when you're cutting all the fabric into different pieces they, and when you're folding them down and pressing them down they they they, they quilt really lovely we got yeah. a, a bundle today where you get the book you get the fat quarters and you get sorry you get the fat quarters and you get the uh the fabric and they the uh the projects that you've got have come from the book which will show separately uh, but the the fat quarters themselves as we said are gorgeous gorgeous quality you're probably best to show them so then we're not um well the, well, the, the yeah the, the, the uh, fabric yeah, well, just because the camera's allowed there to, you're allowed to open i'm them allowed to want. take them out but you're an expert folder aren't you you're, <laughs> no. a, you're a dab hand at this <laughs> oh yeah so really really lovely they were quite big let me just pull one out there we are I think when I read about this collection, she actually designed it over her grandmother's be uh, bedroom and dressing room. So this part of it was like the pearls. She's from... got a real story behind every single fabric yeah. collection she does. Yeah, it's lovely. Look at that. That's quite really, really big. And they go such a long way as well. So I've still got some left. So I use some of these and I've created the runner. I did, I did um, the cushion and I'm also using the same for what I'm going to demo today as well. Ah. So it goes a really, really long way and coupled up with the cream as well. Mm -hmm. You could make a really big quilt. I really like it against the cream because it's a completely different look. The last yeah. hour we were looking at it on a white which is it, it is quite dramatic yeah. whereas this because of the colours in the background I think it works really well with the it's, vanilla. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's been it's matched softer. perfectly that has. Yeah it's softer. So as you say with the bundle you've got plenty there to, to have a bit of a play around with um, yeah. with the book and do a few projects out of it. So that's yeah. So if you th so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's ten. So that's yeah. ten fat quarters with the cream. Huge quilt. Yeah. And matching cushions. Yeah, that, yeah. that's a good point actually, because the table runner that we we we've got here, or the the quilt or the cushion, you could actually make into a quilt, couldn't you? Yeah. So that's that was the pattern that I uh, chose. It is actually a big quilt and a really big cushion, like the type of that you'd put on a bed, like yeah. a really really big one, using the four blocks. Um, but I could have carried on yeah. with that one, but. Yeah, <laughs> so I, but I wanted to uh, to demo that one as well. This is cool. I love the pencils. That yeah. is really nice, isn't it's it? It's like beach hutty yeah. pencils. You could even um, uh, change the pattern a little bit and just have that bit cream and have the pencil bit at the end. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, I, I could have a go at that in a bit. Yeah. I'll, I'll try Fab. it. I'll try it. And it's from the book, isn't it? We're going to have a look at the book as well because I know that you love this book. Love this book. As soon as I saw it, when I was in, um, I think it was a month or so ago, um, I saw it in the studio. And as soon as I was flicking through it and Joe was uh, 
uh, the director on the day and I was like, I need to sew something out of this book. <laughs> it is beautiful and every project in here, I just want to make them all. Oh. So keep so keep giving me the Bon Voyage fabric. I'll, uh, and I'll they're all with Tilda fabrics as all well, of them, so they've yeah. got that really sort of kitschy country home feel, haven't they? And just such lovely colours, really, really. And they, they match the colours really well with, with a plain solid as well. So we, here's the ones that I did. So that's the quilt that I've done. That's what's behind me. We're going to show you that to the side. Thank there we you. are. So that's what's behind me. That's actually the block for the oh. for the um, for the runner. I'll tell you what, that looks so different, doesn't it, when you separate the blocks? Yeah. Um, yeah. I wouldn't that's have pretty. I'd like one. to have done that one. Yes. That's really pretty. There we are. So where are we um, going on to the instructions as well? A step by step. The diagram is really really clear. So really easy to, to follow as well. Uh, there's so many projects in here for fifteen just pounds. Look at, quilting. look at that quilting. Gorgeous. Beautiful. It's a great inspiration, isn't there? To I really like that. These that would be really nice as a wall hanging in the kitchen. Oh yeah, yeah, it would. Lovely teapots. Really nice. And then we moved. I think the the couple that because I was on a few weeks ago with this and I did the plum, the plum and the cat. Yeah. Uh, so that would probably still be on YouTube, won't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. It yeah. was there forever. There forever. So, <laughs> that's a nice one. I like a Dresden, Dresden plate. plate. Mm -hmm. And th again, that's a really good skill to learn because you can do that with so many other projects. And again, step by step, she's really good at um, the, the directions are really, really, the instructions are really, really clear, nice and numbered. You can tick them off. And yeah, so here we go. This is the one that I did. This is what's behind me. This is the runner. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. So that's a great thing, even though you've got how many projects does it say in there? Actually, if you break it down, um, where you... does it? Where do I? Where do I look? I don't know. <laughs> probably the back. Will it say on the back how many how many uh, projects? Or not. But I can't what see. I was going to say is that no matter how many projects it says, you actually can then make so much more from it because uh -huh. even though that was a quilt, you can make it into table runner. You can yeah. do cushions. You could do a bag front. You could yeah. do. It's thinking outside the box, isn't it? It's like that's that was the cushion I was saying. Uh, earlier just by putting the four blocks together oh, but nice. that just on a bed or even if you had like a cream cream bed in and then that was a real statement piece on it on it yeah I like a cushion yeah I've always got cushions on all of my beds much to my uh, husband's annoyance <laughs> okay, I have a nice cushion so yeah so that's that one. Oh, that and that was the cat that I did oh brilliant yeah so that was uh, is that with the Bon Voyage range yeah, yeah really lovely so I did uh, the, I demoed the um, the cat uh, as a cushion, but I'd love to see that as a quilt. Somebody, if anyone out there has actually made it, put some pictures up, that would look really lovely. Yeah, yeah. and again, it looks complicated, but it's not. It's okay. really, really, really simple to follow. And I even demoed about how you sew on a curve as well, because yeah. I think people, I especially, when I started sewing, I was, if I saw a curve, I'd, I'd avoid it. I mm -hmm. wouldn't do the pattern. And actually, it's really quite simple. So, okay. Yeah, so go back and have a look at that one. And this is a project book that you're going to pick up a lot, like you say. Sometimes I'll, I'll find a book where I think, right, I'm going to buy the book because I love that project. But actually, yeah. with this one, there's yeah. so many. Every project. <laughs> yeah. Every project. Uh, so, yeah, that was that was what I did. That was what we made. And, again, it just even though that's quite a simple block, but mm -hmm. with the fabrics, with the apple butter or the bon voyage, that would just look really, really professional. Oh, nice. There you are, nice pictures. And uh, uh, it's a nice coffee table book as well. Like, oh, what one shall I do next? I love that. I love the duck. I love a duck. Tilda's toys <laughs> are fab, aren't they? Can yeah. you get them quacking? I want to make that. I want to make quackers. that duck. And, yeah. Oh, and some more ducks there. Do you do toy making as well? I do, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you can just have yes. the book and just work your okay. way through. Week I'm by gonna... week, we'll do another one. I'll make I'll make the duck, definitely. But, yeah, I, re I really enjoy making the, And I make dolls as well. Love I think that. That's, I think that's a doll. Love, love, love that. That, that is, is a true Tilda-style doll, isn't it? And the colours as well. But, yeah, I think they, they do that as Bunting. a doll. That's I'll, so I'll have cute. to make it. I think I've got some Bon Voyage left, so <laughs> I'll, I'll make it for you, Vicky. Thank you. Yes, please. I'll hold you to that. And then, so th that's, that. look at that. Even though that is so simple, look how beautiful that is. Love that one. I nearly did that one. £14.99. It's all down to fabric choice. So hang on, is this your pencil cushion? This is it, yeah. Plum Garden Village. Yeah. No way. See, again, just change it and it looks completely different. Um, like you say, there could be beach huts, it could be pencils, it could be... There's 14 quilts in here, many with matching pillows, 
but adapt them just like what we're doing today. There we are. So that was this one here was actually a similar pattern to this. But again, I just thought the colours and the solids worked really, really well. So when I put it together like that, it could be a really nice, uh, like you say, pencil cushion. Yeah. Pencil cushion. Pencil yeah. cushion. Um, I, but I was also thinking, you know, the, the, the kids break up from school next week. Yeah. I've, uh, over the last couple of years, um, my, my Charlie's in year three going into year four now. And I always make something for the teachers. Oh, that's you know, nice. These, it, it's great. I mean, I'm sure the teachers need the Prosecco by the time that it comes <laughs> to the end of the year. Uh, but people are going in and they, they always get their gifts. The teachers are lucky. They get a lot of presents. But um, I really enjoy making something for oh. them. And I think that, that would be a really nice uh, teacher's gift. Yeah, it? Because it would. Because it's still something they can have in their house. And, it, you know, it's not covered in all the children's names or yeah. whatever. But something they can keep. That's um, really nice. I, I, I like the shape of it as well. Because, you know, if you're sewing and you want to support your lower back yeah. it's a nice cushion to have on the yeah. seat sport your lower back in your workroom isn't it and i made that one as well i did that one on the, the show quilt. oh yeah. nice yeah really lovely they're lovely designs i mean we could just keep working through and working through the whole book and even Snowman. Christmas, yeah i think i think going through the book she does it through a season it's a seasonal um, so uh, she starts off by the spring and then, then going all the way through to the winter and then finishing off with the snowman. I like that because it doesn't scream novelty Christmas, does no. it? It's not like, it should, don't get me wrong, I love it when you've got Santas and reindeers and everything all over it, but that's just quite subtle. It's more of a winter quilt than a Christmas one. And how to just do simple hearts as well. Oh, lovely. You know, and you could just do a, Yeah, and just do a whole quilt with all the little hearts or Valentine's Day. Or... We love it, absolutely love it. Yes. There we so, are. Um, the book fourteen ninety nine. We're going to. Are we going to look at the cushion today, or are we looking at the table runner? What are you demoing? I can do both. Oh, amazing! Yeah, I'm all ready to go. Fabulous. Right then. So let's start with whatever I pull out first. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okie doke. That's that A warning on the bundle, just so you know. If you want, there's only the one bundle today where you get all of the fat quarters and you also get the vanilla. How much vanilla do you get? Sorry, a meter and a half. The breakdown says a metre and it says a metre and a half in the graphic, so I'll triple check at how much you get, but, um, okay. yeah. The, um, as we were saying earlier, it is so much better with the cream, uh, but I ran out. And so I you're using some white? So I'm using some white. It's only just what I've got left at home because I, I, I've, I've used it all. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so we're going to start off, we'll do the pencil cushion. So I'll just put that to one side. So I've already pre-cut all my pieces. So... These are, I just use the, the pattern pieces for the, for the, uh, for the, the base. Yeah. The, what do you call it as a pencil? I don't I know. A pencil. Oh. Let's call it like a beach hut. Let's call it a beach hut, yeah. Because I don't know all the names of the So these the are three and a half by six and a half inches. So I've cut all these out. And I also matched the, the, uh, the block, the plain fabrics for the little tips or the roofs roof okay so what we're going to do is sew those together so what I tend to do is I cut all of my pieces first because that's a process in itself isn't it rather than just cutting as you go along so I just always um, cut them out first so I've added in an extra yellow because I think it's a nice happy cushion mm -hmm. and I think yellow is a happy color isn't it always yeah. makes you smile yeah so what I'm just going to do is sew these together, and it doesn't really matter, but as long as you sew on the right side of that one, it doesn't really matter on that one. Yeah. So are we on? Are we plugged in? Are we, we plugged, plugged, in? plugged in? So if you want to be really accurate, you can pin them, but I don't, I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so quarter inch seam. Like I say they're lovely quality fabrics, aren't they? So they, they tend to behave themselves. In fact, sort of you can do it that way. I'm actually going to do it this way because it's going to be quicker for me. What way? What what you need? So I'm going to I'm going to cut. I'm going to sew the top bits first. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to get under here. So I'm going to sew the two squares. So these are two inch squares, and I'm going to sew from one corner to the to the end, and then the other one from the top down. So you're creating that triangle. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So I'm just going to make these then. So where's the foot? There we are. You've realised that that makes that cat. So that's this section here, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. As soon as I've done this one, you'll be able to be able to see. And again, if you want to be really accurate, you'll draw that line with a pencil or uh, just pin it. But again, for today, I'm just going to go for it. So there we are. 
Oh, hello. There we are. So then a pair of scissors. I'm just going to cut those corners off. Leave in about a quarter of an inch. Quarter of an inch, yeah. And then any stray thread. And then when you open it out... I suppose that just reduces the bulk a bit yeah. by trimming that away, doesn't it? Yeah, obviously. I've done that a little bit too close. And then you'd open it out and then that would be your... The top the, of the top. Map. So I'm just going to do that with, with all the other plain colours for the tips of the pencils. So when you are doing it from a corner, sometimes the, um, the corners can get trapped in your machine. So what I tend to do is just start a little bit further in right. because that's going to be caught up in the seam allowance when you're going to sew it to the top anyway there. And another one. So I'm just going to keep going with these now. So this one's quite a quick project to do actually. And it's quite easy, you haven't got to think too much about it. Because mm -hmm. you know, there's not loads of different pieces. So I'm just going to... Again, yeah, it's really effective isn't it? It's, it's a bit more interesting then. And the colours, the colours make it though, don't they? Makes it more interesting. I tend to have them all lined up in a row, so it's a bit like an assembly line when I'm as I'm sewing. Ah, uh, right. Sorry, we need to amend our graphics. You get a meter of your vanilla with the bundle, so you get your fat quarters and a meter of vanilla. That'd still be plenty. That's what you um, were sent, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I should have remembered that. No, it's I? fine. That's another one. So that's three done already. So that's it's, it's really quick. Yeah. So I'm determined now. So because I, because I said I want to show you both, I'm determined to show you both. <laughs> so I'm going to go as quick as I can. Reminds me of the, the, the beach huts. You know, you see um, on the front in Brighton. Yeah. Or where is it that Fiona? You all met Fiona the other day, didn't you? Fiona Hesford. Um, she's not from Brighton. She's from. Oh gosh, it's going to annoy me. She got like a beach hut like this though. This would be nice for Fiona. What's it? There's um oh, there's a place down we've been to before, and you have, it, it's uh, down south somewhere. Is it near Southampton? And you have to uh, uh, when the tide comes in, you can't get off the island, and it's oh. full of beach huts. Someone will know. Oh, it's yeah, Mudderford, 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 Mudderford. Okay. That's got loads of beach oh, huts. Really pretty. I love them. They're a fortune in Brighton, aren't they? They're so expensive. They're it's amazing, though. I said Southampton, I don't think it's there at all. <laughs> it's by the seaside, I don't know. Somebody correct me. <laughs> Nearly done. Obviously at home you'll take a bit more time. I'm just gonna... I was going for it this morning. We were talking in the last hour about it, it's walking lots, and I must say, I've found lots of lovely walks round where you live as well. Yeah, it's lovely, <laughs> isn't it? We're, I'm so lucky, really. We're on the edge of the Cotswolds as well. It's beautiful. Yeah, we love our walks. Uh, be going on one later. We might be going on a bike ride this afternoon, oh, I think. Nice. So we've just all got some new bikes. So. Uh -huh. so we've treat, finally treated ourselves, because I've been using Nick's, which he's had from his 16th birthday. <laughs> so I've finally got my own. Whereabouts have you been walking? Um, through to Ashorn from yeah. where, you, so yeah. the, where you go past the, the it, Shell Garage. Yeah. <laughs> the Shell <laughs> left past there. Everyone at home's like, I've no idea what you're talking about. Is that, is that from the from, village? Yeah. From Wellsbourne? Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely up there. And you can go right up past Oakley Wood. Yes. Yeah, it's a nice yeah. walk there. <laughs> Although we did it a few weeks ago um, during lockdown and we got caught in a, haul, in a, in a field with these horses. <gasps> it was, it was, we were allowed to go yeah. in there, it was a public footpath, but they weren't very happy. Oh, I did run. <laughs> oh. So there we go, I'm going to chop these off. I have got lost quite a few times and I've had to ring Kieran to, to come find me, pick me up. But I've no idea where I am, I've got to a dual carriage where so I've like, got to, I can't walk through You, can, you can download the OS. Um, App, can't you, on your phone? Oh, so you can see and where then it the walking the trails. Yeah, there's a, there's a, I think there's a book of walks around there as well. I think I've been on the phone to you, Paul. I don't know where I've got very lost. Like, I've got to go because I don't know where I am. So I'll just quickly sew these. So trimming all of them back to reduce trimming the Trimming them all back, yeah. And you can keep all these little triangles. You never know when you're going to use a, need a tiny little bit of... Oh yeah, I could imagine just sewing those together. You've got your little squares as well, haven't you? You could almost do that as you 
as you're going along. So I'm going to tidy up. Put them in your scraps? Yeah. Your scrap bag? I know, but I've got so many scrap bags, but I can't throw it away. I know, we're all... Um... So I'm going to... Is the iron on? Sorry, yeah. I unplugged it, I believe. Yeah, but yeah. it'll probably still be hot, because I literally unplugged it about five minutes before the show. So I'm just going to give these a little press. I said, I think I sewed that one a bit too. Uh, oh, that will do. Oh, that will do. That's fine. Because that will be caught up in the... Um... That said, take your time at home. <laughs> I'm rushing where I am. There we are. Okay, so just open them out. Again, if you've used a lighter fabric, you'll sew the seams to the... Oh, I've got a little bit of glue on there. I'll have to... Uh... So you'll sew the seams over towards the darker part of the, fa the, the dark fabric so you can't see them and they've all sewn together. There we are and again so for today I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it because I'd like I really want to show you the uh, table winner and how that's all put together. Ooh. Is that still warm? Yeah it's yeah. it's it's great. <laughs> I think I've turned it up too high. No I think I am. Uh, oh have you turned it on? You yeah I've it turned it on. I've turned it on but I think I've turned it on. So I tend to try and have the iron about on on the two, so on a uh, you know not too hot. And last few. It does make a difference, doesn't it? Pressing at each sort of stage. Oh, definitely. That said, you need an iron more than you need a sewing machine sometimes, depending on your project, but it does make a big difference. There we are. Last one. And open them out. Right then. I'm just going to put that down there. Ooh. Ah. Okay. <laughs> put that down there. So all you're going to do now is sew the, 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 the roof, the tip, the whatever you're going to call it right sides together and you can chain stitch these this bit can be quite done quite quickly where's the pedal gone I'm stretching over like this I'm getting smaller so my legs getting further away so it's yellow so just line up the, the edges Books very, very popular indeed, by the way. There's loads of great projects in there. And with the bundle, um, Delphine was able to make two, plus the, the, the fabric left over for today's demo as well. So you'll be able to have a real good go at lots in the book. And it is a beautiful book. Maybe you've got Tilda at home already. or I mean, it doesn't, You don't need to use Tilda fabrics. No. It would probably look completely different if you were to do it in... You could even do it in your solids, couldn't you? Yeah, when do some quilting and it's... It's one of the, it's one of the um, the best quilting books that I've I've um, been sewing from definitely. Nice. But I want to have a go at that doll, the doll one. Yeah. That's a really nice project. There we go. Nearly done now. Yeah, this is easy. A um, this cushion. Apart from the quilting, I did uh, do quite a bit of quilting on that one. Mm -hmm. But you could you could whip one of these up in half an hour, I think. Gosh, amazing. We go. So I've just done a big chain of them, mm -hmm. and then just quickly trim them all off. How have you been with homeschooling over the last few months? Oh. I was thinking of gifts for <laughs> teachers. I think everybody's really appreciating how amazing. Yeah, teachers do, I, are. do I get a gift? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's been it's been fine. I've learnt a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not best of the best at maths at all, but so my maths has definitely come on a lot. Um, if your kids are seven, they actually yeah. learn. My friend's doing teaching at the moment, and she says I'm doing like key stage two, and it's really difficult. She was talking to me about all of these different adverb noun, but different oh, ones. The, the diagraph. Um, yeah. uh, there's things that there's yeah. Things, I just the things that we did. I don't think were in the syllabus when we were at school. So it's hard, isn't it? Yeah, but uh, again, some of it's been quite interesting. It's been quite nice learning it with Louis because he's only yeah. in reception. So l teaching him to read and oh. doing all of I know you do that as a parent anyway, but just seeing how yeah. much he's come on has been, been oh. so lovely. 
So sorry, what is it that you're sewing? You two, you so them all I'm now, now sewing them all together. So open them out. So you just choose what colour, or what order you want to put them in. But when you um, sew them together, again you can pin them. But you see these two points here. Make try and line that up as much as you can when you're sewing. So I just flip it onto the top. That's the only point to meet, really, isn't it? And yeah. it will nestle so, quite nicely. Yeah, and if you've uh, pressed it, uh, obviously I didn't press these, but if you press that correctly, and then that will be a nice perfect point there. Nice. Right, I'm going to go for it. Yeah, so not so bad, the homeschooling. I've learned a lot about the Anglo-Saxons. Oh. Yeah, so some of it's, but we're going, out, we're actually going away in the caravan um, next week, going away. And, uh, and now all the you know, the English heritage places are all open again, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So we'll be uh, taking a few little trips down and around a few castles and stuff. So, oh, brilliant. Yeah, so I look forward to that. And hopefully the sun will be shining. Last one then, and then I'll just sew them all together. And then all you'll do is put a back on it. Uh, as I, I've, I've just done an envelope back on these cushions, and then you'll be done. Nice. Oh, it's a lovely machine, this, isn't it? <laughs> oh. It's, it's weird, treat. isn't it? I mean, when I, my, my machine at home, I've outgrown mine now. And when I come in and sew on this, the results I have are actually so much better. And it's just quick to plug in and go. And yeah. It almost sews for you. It's brilliant. It's like she just purrs at you. Yeah. She's like, go on, you can make me go faster. Put your foot down. It's silly things like the lighting on it. It's a really good really, light. I didn't realise I would ever notice that, but actually you do notice when it's really nice and well lit. Yeah, because I have to use it. I've also, I, even, I've got a light on my machine, but I even have to have a bright light yeah. over it. But that is really, really bright, yeah. isn't it? Not bright as in, you know, it's in your face, but it, it uh, certainly lights up everything that you need to see. I'm on my last bit now. And that's the panel done. There we go. So, all, so all the, that's all sewn together. All you'll Lovely. do is give it a really good press. Yeah. And then all I did was, I think that was about a three inch, three inch strip of fabric on the top okay. and on the bottom. And then that's it. That's that one done. Amazing. Easy. Yeah. And you can do a little bit. Of, so I've even had extra to go and do a little bit of the binding around the top yeah. of that one as well. That that's all it is. You give it a really good press. I said all those bits will be hidden when you um, do the top bit here yeah. on the top of the uh, uh, cushion. That one's done. Lovely. Should we go onto the table one? Yeah. So that's that one. I'll keep that one. That'll be a nice little matching cushion there. Yeah, absolutely. So that's that one. And let's move on to... There's your quick graphic, by the way. You do get a metre vanilla with it. Still lots of fabric to be playing around with. So we're going to do the table runner. So I've already pre-cut the blocks, just to save a little bit of time. A lot of the measurements, uh, again, it's all done in a diagram mm -hmm. in the book. So rather than you've got loads and loads of writing to look at, um, let me see, where is it? I think it's towards the beginning of the book. I find that easier, do you? I think a lot of us... I like pictures. Uh, yeah, we're yeah. more visual. I think if you're into your arts and crafts, then you're more visual learn. Visual. Yeah. I'm definitely, definitely a visual learner. So when you, you have um, the cutting out the squares, cutting out your pieces, it's ah, here. So that I found that really helpful. Ah. So you haven't got to read through all the text, obviously read through the text for the step-by-step -step instructions, but that was really helpful. It just gives you, you know, the letter A, uh, you know, three by three and a half inch square. Really simple, to the point. And again, with the, uh, the sashing as well, the, the instructions are really, really so easy to follow. Lovely. So I like that bit. Okay, so we're going to put it together. I think I've done it. So we're going to, yeah. So that means we're going to have this in the middle. Okay, so again, I like to just double check, lay out all your pieces as it would be in the, um, in the book. I like so this know. because it's, it's, it's really, it's simple patchwork as well. There's nothing too scary about the no. pieces. You're basically looking at a 
squares and is that like a flying geese unit or similar yeah. to, to that? So it's not, there's n nothing too scary. It's another one that actually is really effective and a good way of seeing all your different fabrics and colours. It is, yeah. And it, it, you learn a lot of skills just doing yeah. the one block. Um, so to start off with, we're just going to learn a very easy patchwork square. Yeah. So I'm going to sew right sides together. I, you can choose to follow this, the, the, the pattern in a certain lines mm -hmm. or you can just mix them up. It doesn't matter. It depends how fussy you want to be. Mm. So I'm going to just start off by doing the, the um, front square. Are you, are you good at doing random or are you quite, do you struggle to do random? I know a lot of patchworkers who try to do random but are still doing a random in a very place. Uh, I, I don't know, I can be quite good at random, I yeah. think. But I, I made, um, I've made a lot of memory quilts yeah. and, and of course they're all very random. Yeah. Uh, sometimes I think, uh, what's, uh, what's that saying, a happy accident? Yeah. In the words of Bob Ross, uh, a, a, an artist that I used to, uh, well, still follow now. And, uh, well, there's no mistakes. It's yeah. just happy accidents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my uh, best friend, uh, Bex. Hello, Bex. I said I'll say hello. Hello. She, uh, she's, oh, she's awesome. She actually uh, cross-stitched me that saying. Oh. And it's in my sewing room. There's no mistakes, just happy accidents. Oh, I like that. So yeah, when you are sewing random, it, it can just look really, really beautiful. So happy accident. There you go. Oh, there we are. So patchwork square, those two together. Again, you can give them a press. And what you'll do is on top. It's good and to then, practice matching your points, isn't it? Yeah, match those points. And it's all in the cutting, isn't it? Nice accurate cutting as well. Okay. So take your time when you're cutting out your pieces because it does make the difference. And here we are. And that's that piece done already. Oh, have you got it? Perfect. I got it without Bang ironing on. it. Look at that. <laughs> I'll take that. Love Lovely. It. Okay, so that's the center of the uh, the runner. So I'm now going to show you how to do the sides. Yeah, so you'll do your half square triangles. So if you have I'll have a pencil and the ruler. So all you do is draw a line. I think I think I've done demoed you this before so you're going to just draw a line from corner to corner pencil or heat erasable pen I mean you won't see it anyway so it doesn't really matter so you can put a pin in there so what you're going to do is just sew from the uh, one corner to the other so again I've marked it out or if you, you're feeling quite brave then just do it by eye but Right, so that's a sewing line, you sew on it, not yeah, quarter yeah, inch so to the side. Not, no, I was, uh, that was what I was thinking of, but no, then I thought, no, that's not what you're doing, Delphine, you're doing it this way. Okay. So ignore me, yeah, so are you going <laughs> to sew on the line from corner to corner? No, it's just there's another way of doing something where you sew quarter to an inch of the side of it and then you cut through the you line. You cut through you it and then you get two on. squares. Yeah, right, this but, is with, yeah. but yeah, this is different. So when I open it out... That's it. That's... What you're left with. I'm with you. I'll do it with it in a brighter colour so you can see. So let's have it with a, a nice bright yellow. So again, I'm sort of sew from that corner to that corner. So again, just random colour. It doesn't need to be the matching no. one. It's nice to do something. You can, right, you know, do. It. I think with this one, I did try and follow a pattern because it was re re repeated. So I did. Obviously, I, the, uh, I staggered the pattern. Oh yeah. So I tried to be tidy with that one, but I think even if you didn't and made a mistake, you wouldn't notice. No. So, so I'm going to do that with all four sides. They're all really nice bright colours, yet not one out shines the other. I think they all just work together, so yeah. if you were doing it just completely random, it still, I think, would blend together nicely. So they're the right shades, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Not too strong, like you say, and the one's not too strong. And so I'm going to, again, I'm just picking this at random. So I'm just going to go for it this time without drawing. See what I mean about if I stop too soon, started at the corner too soon. Has that chewed it up? That's what happens if you start too, too, um, 
too close to the edge. So could you go a bit in and do a reverse back and yeah. forth? But then even you don't even really need to you reverse need to. it, only because that's going to be hidden anyway right. later on. Right, oh, okay. So I'm just going to... No, a lot of people use a leader or follower, like a, a bit of fabric before, to yeah. sort of chain piece it into it. I think scrap. you won't really notice what's off. That one. Or another good tip for that is if you use your, if you've got one of the machines that have got a straight stitch needle plate, that tends to help it okay. to not chew it as well. So that's two done, and move on to the next one. Let's have a bit of red, and let's have red and blue. There we are, put that in there. Oh, it's quick, isn't it? This machine. <laughs> really 1,200 quick. stitches per minute. <laughs> <laughs> Good memory. And, uh, I like yeah. this machine, can you tell? I do like this machine. Not la it's not loud though, is it either? No. It's not sort of vibrating and jumping all over the place. So, and then, have I lost a square? Yeah. So I need those four for later, so right. I'll just use those two now. And... Last side then. And last one. We're whizzing through this. I know. We are out of time, cat. Are we good for time? All good. Just 20 minutes. How long? Sorry, cat. 10 minutes and demo. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Not a problem at all. So, tr so how, where are you trimming? So, I am now trimming. You can use a ruler. I'm just trimming just a quarter inch um, to the, the back of the stitches. So, so then when I open it out, it's nice and flat. So again, put those in your little stash. Save them for later. Okay, put those there. That's one that's done. And again, that's a nice sharp blade. It does make a difference, True. doesn't it? It does. I know, I always forget to change my blade. And then you struggle in a way, and then you do change it, and it's like... Just... Yeah. Uh, I have it with my sewing machine needle. I'm never, I don't change that anywhere near enough as I should do. And they say you should change your sewing machine needle. Per, yeah, per, per project. project. Do you? Or eight to nine hours of sewing or yeah, something. You should, yeah, per, per project. But again, you don't really notice the difference until you finally do. Yeah. So, okay, those are those. That's the corners. So let me just... Um, sorry, I'm being a bit messy today. I need Not those. Don't need those bits. Those can go there. Okay, so all we're going to do is put the block together now. Could they be top of pencils, those triangles? They could be. Yeah, so if you did that bit in cream, mm -hmm. you could use a little bit of that to just uh, sew along the top bit right. before you put the, the squares on okay. the end. That would be nice, wouldn't it? So I'm going to say that one there. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. So that one like that. And like this. So I'm just putting them, uh, placing where I'd like them to go. So I'm trying not to get two colours touching. That one there. That one there. So all pointing towards your all, square. All pointing towards a square. And then your solids. So I'm going to make sure that each one's a little bit different. Like that. So should we quickly put those together? Yeah. So do you do it in rows now? Yeah, so I'm going to do that in the three rows. And again, it's all explained in the book, but yeah, I just do it in th uh, the three rows. It's just easier and also it's better so you can match up the points a little bit easier. Okay. And again, I would have usually pressed all these as well, but 
I just want to I just want to show you the block, the finished piece. So that's one side done. Once you've done it, do you then lay it back down in its place so you know yeah. which side to sew it to? So it's ideal if you have a bit of space next to your sewing machine so you can constantly lay them out as you go. Saves time, nice and organised. So that's that one done. There we are. Now I'm going to sew this piece. Cat's so, asking where you sew at home. Do you have a sewing room? I, uh, I think I've, I think I've said before. My uh, Nick made me built me a shed in the garden uh, for my sewing room, but I'm scared of spiders. So <laughs> I don't use it. I so I use it for storage, and he has it as an office. Right. But at the moment, um, it's the dining room and the kitchen. Yeah. So, uh, but we we want to move house, so we're trying to move at the moment, but. It's a bit selfish, but I want to move just so I can have a sewing room. <laughs> so my own space. So, but yeah, I, t I tend to take over the house when I'm sewing. Have you done any sewing with your boys? Have they been doing any sewing? No, they're not. They're not interested no. really. Um, I think that they they know what I'm doing. Yeah. Um, I think they get involved with the designing of I, you. I, of... Th I think I think Louis is more creative. He likes drawing and things, and I think I'd like to think as he gets older that he'll be more interested in doing it. All they do like doing is pressing the foot pedal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because uh, Charlie, he's, we're quite into uh, Formula One and the Grand Prix, and he's just like he's driving the car, like pressing it. Oh, but um, I caught him in the kitchen the other day, and they, uh, he was he was looking at the pedal, and I had projects going on. I was like, <gasps> but he would have given it a go. <laughs> and last piece. And then we'll sew them all together and that's it. So you can have all your pieces cut and then you can just sit at the machine and sew all your blocks together like this. And it soon comes together really quickly. So it's a quite a quick project again. Um, and I said I made mine into a runner, be a nice wall hanging, but really lovely for a bed. Yeah, really absolutely. Nice for a bed. And it looks, you get almost a secondary pattern then when you see the, let me find it. When you sew them as a quilt together, it looked completely different. So all I'm going to do now is sew the block together. There we are, it's coming, in, coming along really nicely. So again, you would give those a bit of a press. Oh, the colours are so lovely, aren't they? That's worked out really well. See, happy accident, look. That's worked nice. out really nicely. Oh yeah, you get almost that secondary pattern yeah, again of the, the really triangle pretty. together. So try and be nice and tidy, sewing your trying to get the points to meet but with the with the pattern again even if you're a little out it would it, you wouldn't really notice it so nearly that, across that one nice little bit there I'm trying to keep it nice and straight That one, and then one more. Uh, yep, pointing towards. Yeah. Pointing towards it. Now all of these, you've got quite a few points there to match up. Yeah. So at this point, would you pin at home? Uh, it's all in the pressing. Re press pressing. it really, really well, and uh, yeah, put a couple of the pins in, especially where where, where your eyes drawn. So in the middle of the panel. Um, but yeah, so it it does help. I tend to. To use, I don't use as many pins now as I used to, mm -hmm. but if you as a beginner, definitely use lots of pins, and then just take your time. Um, I suppose with this machine, because it's got the needle down option, you can stop and reposition, and you need yeah, to stay. Yeah, I down. use that a lot. The needle down position, I use that an awful lot. As I said I've not pressed this, so it's. Uh, um, there you go. Nice. You got your block. Oh, amazing. And like you say, it so, comes together really quickly, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, really, really quickly. But you're learning some great transferable skills yeah. as you go along. So yeah. It's gorgeous. That's and so they give it all a good give press. Give it all a really good press. And even that alone, just a tiny little uh, bit of the ivory. And then if you used a little bit of the pattern, and that would make just a really nice cushion. Yeah. Wouldn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. You can make a whole collection of them. Yeah. Yeah, you could, yeah. absolutely. Uh, and it looks again completely different. I think this was from the Lazy Days fabric, um, yeah. about how they did it before, but it's 
and it's lovely quilting. Looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Uh, that's from this book, the Tilda book that you can see your graphics for. It's fourteen pounds ninety nine. Is there anything else that you wanted to show? All good. Uh, all good. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. All good. The yeah. bundle, uh, by the way, was all of your fat quarters. They fold like fat eights, aren't they? But they are fat quarters. That you get loads of fabric. Plus, you also have a meter of vanilla as well to go with it. So all of those ten fat quarters, and the solids as well. Mm -hmm. Like you say, they're really lovely quality solids, aren't they? They go a really long way. They go really long way. Plus, then you have your vanilla. Thank you ever so much. Thank you for having me again. When are you back? Uh, I think Saturday. I think. Oh, amazing. Yeah, Saturday. Back on the weekend. Yes. And did you say you're going to bring back some uh, needle folds? Definitely. At some point? Yeah, yeah. This that'll... weekend is it? Uh, no. no, that's not this weekend. I think that's in a couple of weeks' time okay. when I get back. But um, yeah, I've got some really nice, pretty projects for you to to do for those. But yeah, oh, yeah, I've been really enjoyed making these ones. So I'm in the finishing stages of uh, of them now, but they're they're lovely. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. It's so uh, lovely to see thank you. you. Thank so you. So good for to see. We we'll see you soon. Yeah. Lovely. Uh, we're going to be back in just a minute to have a bit of a recap of the kits. I'll see you after this. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Thank you very much to Delphine for another amazing demo. We love her so much. Looking forward to the weekend now. If you want to get the book, which I know how much Delphine loves this, there's so many projects. As I said, there's actually 14 quilt designs. Many have got the matching cushions and matching pillows as well. But then you can adapt them so easily. There's actually endless possibilities of table runners, wall hangings, cushions, pillows, quilts, bags, all sorts that you could actually take inspiration and blocks from. For £14.99, you get all of your templates at the back, all of your lovely instructions, as Delphine was saying, very, very clear. It talks you through different techniques, talking you through uh, waddings and battens and basic fabrics and tools, and then through the seasons. But I, I really like the fact that this isn't novelty Christmas. It's more of a winter one, isn't it? This is one you can have all through the winter out. Everyone with great instructions, or oh, that would be nice. Um, you could make a really long one like this as a draft excluder, couldn't you? You could just keep going and do a nice long one. Um, this is what we were looking at today. And whether you do it as a village of little houses, you could do like a row of terraced houses and you could almost free motion with numbers and doors and chimneys and smoke, couldn't you? Uh, th th there are so many amazing possibilities. £14.99, whether you do it as a quilt, whether you're looking at cushions, I do think that's one of my faves. I can't wait to see that. The quilting is amazing. The great thing about Tilda is that um, they all work well. So they work together so well. All the different collections. The quilts look beautiful. Uh, I don't know if I've ever met anybody that says they don't like Tilda. It's one of those. We all have different personal preferences. We all have different tastes. But there's something for everybody. In this book, you've got loads of inspiration. Some great projects. I love the cat quilt. That's fab, isn't it? Lots and lots in there to get uh, stuck into. Uh, it isn't one of those project books that I think you're only going to do one or two projects. I think you are going to make your way through it throughout the year. There's loads and loads in there. £14.99, so we love that book. Uh, the bundle, the main bundle that we were looking at comes with a metre of vanilla and then 10 
of all of your lovely fat quarters. So not only do you have the pearl fabric, you also have its corresponding matching solid, the blue, the pink, the yellow, this lovely jade peacocky blue, and then another, that lovely green as well. Uh, Delphine made the cushion, she made the table runner, she then had the fabric left over that she used to demonstrate with as well. So there's plenty of fabric there to have a real good dive into the book and, and have a bit of a taste with it. Or maybe you've got a project in mind already at home that you're thinking, do you know what, that bundle is gonna be perfect for it because the vanilla works really, really well. It's a great match with the background. So, we also have, I know Delphine mentioned it quite a few times, so we've managed to bring back the, uh, the Bon Voyage range. I've got the two different options. The one with the smaller prints, we've got the smaller scale prints, which I always like, if, especially if you're cutting smaller pieces, it's nice to have a small scale print so you get to see the pattern clearly. You've probably seen Delphine using this collection before. It's beautiful five of your fat quarters for 22 pounds and 99 pence. They're lovely, aren't they? Top tip with this one, go on, cat. Oh yes, oh, in fact, okay. If you type in early bird on the website, uh, you will get three meters of vanilla, which goes perfectly with all these ranges at an early bird special price. How much is that? £17.45? £17.45 pence for, uh, for, for vanilla if you do want a complimentary solid to go with. Have a look. £22.99. Thanks for that, cat. Cat sneaky tips, yeah, exactly. Um, this one I think is my favourite. I love these. They're so beautiful. We put this earlier with like the spear minty green. It's lovely. All five of your fat quarters for $22.99. This is one that you did the plum and the cat with, wasn't it? Yeah, this is one that Delphine did uh, a demo with a couple of weeks ago. Just £22.99. Right, we've mentioned this quite a bit, so I thought I'd just put the graphics in. Those of you that are maybe uh, on the, thinking, right, do I, don't I, do I upgrade? I know a lot of friends of mine who have maybe dusted off an old sewing machine from the loft or borrowed a sewing machine from a uh, from family member during lockdown and have really gotten into their sewing. Or maybe you've had a sewing machine for years and years and you've, again, been sewing lots during lockdown and you're at that point that you want to, to get a new machine. I know so many people who are industry experts and professionals who have this machine, and I also know hobby sewists that just love it. I love it because it's so user-friendly. Uh, it is obviously a, a computerized machine. You can navigate through all of the stitches very, very quickly and very, very easily uh, using the touch screen pad. So you go through all of the modes. It will tell you what foot you need to put on. It will tell you what stitch if you pick, uh, for example, um, or if you, hang on, let me just start it again, if I turn it off and on. You've got your speed dial sort of button, so your straight stitch, and it will automatically default to uh, the sort of, what am I trying to say? It will go directly to the recommended stitch width and stitch length. You can override it, so if with any of the satin stitches, any of your zigzag, if you want to make it wider or change the stitch width or stitch length, you can do that really, really easily again with the with the, the arrows. But you've got a zigzag there, you've got a buttonhole, so it tells you what uh, foot you need to put on. It will default to the, to the right stitch width and stitch length. You can also mirror image a lot of them. You've used your twin needle in, you can elongate them. It's got a memory function, so it's also got an alphabet on here if you want to do personalization and monogramming and quilt labels. There's so much that you can do. In fact, there's a hundred and... I can't remember how many. I know there's 10 buttonholes, three alphabets, and so many. Utility, applique, uh, quilting stitches, decorative, pictorial stitches. You've got 170 stitches on there. So loads to play around with. It's got a huge throat space. I think this is the reason I know a lot of people like this as well, is because you've got that great space to sew in. So if you are a quilter, or if you're a bag maker, if you're a dressmaker, if you do home furnishings, it's one of those machines that I think 
you can dabble between all of the different skills. If you are a bag maker that loves quilting, it's got a free arm. If you love dressmaking, it's got those options as well. I know that Delphine and I were saying about the, the speed of it, you can control that speed. It's a great quick machine if you want it to be, but also intricate sewing, you can slow right down. You've got the thread cutter, game changer in Delphine's words, it's a game changer. The needle down, that was used a lot. We were always, uh, we always were stopping with our needle down to be able to readjust and to pivot, that's ideal. You lock and stitch, you reverse and start stop so you can use it with or without a foot pedal. It comes with an extension table, it comes with a knee lift, it comes with uh, a, a straight stitch needle plate. It's got loads of standard accessories that come with it and look, there's loads of little wardrobes I like to call them, lots of different storage areas throughout the machine to keep all of your feet. £1,099 I understand is a considered purchase but if you're sewing a lot it's a fantastic machine, it's the one that I um, had on, I chose for my birthday. We've got loads of amazing machines here but my personal opinion, if you were to come to me, this isn't, I don't know whether I should say this, but if you were to come to me and say right I've got £2,000 to spend on a machine, this is still the one that I would I would say, look, save that extra £1,000 or £900 and get loads of fabric and, uh, and treat yourself to some kit. And I would still recommend this machine because it's amazing. So also at the moment, now I was watching the other day and I know John Cole Morgan was being quite conservative and he, I know that it's been sort of back and forth with management whether we're still offering the five-year warranty. Um, I know John said two year. I can confirm you get five year warranty with this as well, which is extended. It would normally cost you more through Elna, um, but we've got an amazing relationship with them. This is actually exclusive to us here in the UK and we're also offering it with a five year warranty. So it's amazing time to get it right now. I can't promise that that will be uh, next month or forever, but at the moment we're still offering a five year warranty with it and it comes as part of our postage and packaging as well. Even if you bought other things today, they will come separately as they will come from us, whereas this will be dropped to you, uh, this will be from Elna. Have a serious think about it. If you've got any questions, please, please, please do let me know. And if I can answer it, I will. If I can't, I will find out. I'll make it my mission to find out today and get back to you. So do let me know if you've got any questions about it. But exciting. Do check out on any of the kits and the book. We're going to come back and have a look at some of our favourite kits from over the last couple of weeks. So stay with us, a kit roundup show coming up on the other side of this. Hello, my name is Sally Stevens. I'm from Worcestershire, a little town called Upton upon Severn, which is a lovely little riverside town. And not far from there, I also have a little sewing studio so I can work and leave all my mess left out um, when I'm preparing projects and quilts and so on. My speciality is in fact quilting, patchwork and quilting, and I probably started that when I was about 14 years ago. So as I often joke, that was only seven years ago. In fact, it was rather a lot longer, but I've always enjoyed crafting and patchwork really hooked me and I love it. So now then, what can I tell you? Some Something you may not realise about me is that although lots of you have seen me many, many times on, um, on sewing TV and classes, because I, I teach as well, um, I also do a lot of unpicking. So don't be afraid ever. If you have to unpick things, so do we. It's not a problem. We all have to start somewhere. And sometimes you get a bit cocky and think, oh, I can just do that without pinning or without this. And then you think, ah, should have paid attention to my own words. So some sewing tips for you. That's one. Keep a, a seam ripper handy. That will always be your friend. And um, another one that I think is very important, whether you're a, a beginner or more experienced, when you're sewing something, particularly for the first time, a new technique, slow down. There's no rush. It's not a race. Have a little practice with spare fabrics if you've got them before you use your best fabric that you've just purchased so that you get your techniques just right but also slow down take your time watch what you're doing think about what you're doing and read the instructions that's always very useful so what can i say i've been asked to say what my claim to fame might be and i would have to say in all honesty being on sewing street
Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle Channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel jewellery makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Oh, welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely morning, whatever you're up to. Thank you so much for joining us. It's sunny today. It makes such a difference, doesn't it? When the sun is out at 5am in the morning, it makes it so much better waking up. Uh, and having Delphine with us as well, it's just been a lovely, lovely morning. So, the hour, this pl the plan this hour, we're going to try and get through as many of our favourite kits, your favourite kits, some of the most popular ones that we've managed to rebundle and put together. So um, we'll try and whisk through as many as we can. Wanted to start though with our plastic pellets because these have been so, so popular and we've done everything in our power to get them back in stock. They are weighty and it still comes under that one postage and packaging. So if you do want to stock up ready for any of your door stops, I'm thinking craft excluders, anything that you want to wear down maybe some toys that you want to hang off uh, you know to sit on the shelf you know the ones that have got all the, like the long legs that sit on the shelves uh, you know the ones I mean don't you five pounds 99 you get a whole kilogram of your recycled polythene pellets for five pounds 99 what I would advise is to use or make yourself a little funnel because I've tried to pour them into things before and got into a right mess so use a little funnel or a paper, you know, funnel to be able to, to put them into your project. So that's just £5.99, back in stock. Lots of people uh, already spotted those on the website, so I just wanted to mention those straight away before they sell out again. Uh, £5.99, if you've bought something already, it's definitely worth adding those to your basket. So, a was it yesterday that John did these? A few days ago. Right, so we are really low on these colours now. I haven't even seen navy and it's completely sold out. We've got the grey and we've got the, the cream, the sand colour. Now they are extra wide, so our studio isn't even really big enough to do this. So let me just show you. My arms aren't long enough to show you. $8.99. You've managed to get that price again. This is crazy. So you've got 108 inches wide. Yes, we're thinking for quilt backings. It's called backing fabric in the graphics, but actually if you're thinking linings for bags, if you're thinking bedding, duvet sets, curtains, blinds, soft furnishings, if you're thinking dressmaking, if you're thinking for cushion backs or backgrounds, 
backing though if you're not having to you're not having to piece any of your stash maybe you've done lots of uh quilt fronts but during lockdown you, you've thought right actually it's about time now I need to start backing these and binding them this is a really great way of not having to dip into your stash and, and patch them together but aren't they lovely I, I really like this uh it's almost like a bit of a mottled effect sorry we haven't given this an iron but it is absolutely beautiful quality 100% cotton Eight ninety nine. Bearing in mind, you can pay that for your normal one hundred and twelve wide fabrics. This is two hundred and seventy four centimeters wide, if I'm not mistaken. Two hundred and seventy four, I think it is. One hundred and eight inches for eight pounds ninety nine. Now, this is your chance as well to buy by the half meter. There aren't very many uh, fabric shops out there that will stock extra wide backing fabrics. Can you imagine the size of the bolt that this comes on? They physically probably wouldn't be able to store them. But obviously we've got our big warehouse, so we're able to stock lots of different colors and we're getting more and more uh, choice. So I love this because it's gonna go with everything. It would look lovely with the Highland Cow, really nice with the Allison Glass. In fact, all of the projects that we've got here, this is gonna go really, really well with. I'm thinking for uh, linings for, for bags or for little, pro uh, even if you're practicing sewing or getting children sewing as well, it's not like they're diving into your Liberty stash. It's so affordable and still really, really lovely quality cotton. Just £8.99 for a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fabric. Okay. So that's the grey, I just wanted to warn you about that. It sounds a lot, but we've got 19 metres left. It's If somebody just takes, you know, 10 metres of it for their stash, which I know a lot of people do, it, it, it become, it's gonna become very limited very quickly. Right, we've also got sand. This is gonna look nice with some of you traditional quilts as well, isn't it? We always think about the front and the top. We will always talk about the, you know, the quilt top, but actually, thinking about how to back it, or even using this as your background of a quilt uh, and, uh, and doing some applique onto it. This could be the front and doing some really cool quilting on it. 8.99, a half metre, but it's a big half metre, remember? 274 centimetres wide or 108 inches. What about a play mat? Like a, it's like sand, isn't it? Yeah, you could do like a seaside theme or like pirate theme or a map. It has got quite a, like an aged feel to it, doesn't it? Like Paul. Eight pounds, 99 and a half meter. Have you missed us? You missed us? Yeah. He just said, I've had a lovely day today. You have. He says, before the show, he said, I'm actually really happy today. And yeah, last out, you're still saying, really happy today. <laughs> Eight pound, 19 and a half meter. And remember this will uh, be cut off the bolt of that big, big bolt for you. So if you do want 10 meters, absolutely add 20 units to your order. If you want to buy a meter of this, then it's two units uh, and so on and so forth. We'll cut by the half meter. Okay, I don't think I was supposed to do this, but I wasn't here yesterday. I know it's Sunday morning, so those of you that have woken up expect to see Debbie Shaw. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> um, Debbie normally does uh, Sunday, Monday, doesn't she? But, um, yeah, she's swapped with me this week. So, she launched yesterday her kits her cow creamers these ones which are so cute so you get your instructions right let me move this one out of the way so you have your cow kitchen set you've uh, probably seen it dotted around the set over here these panels are gorgeous all of your instructions your debbie sure instructions and also you have Thermalan. So that's, uh, as I say, your heat resistant um, fleece, like a compressed fleece. It is the official Visaline product, uh, but you would need to put a couple of layers in if you're using it for your oven gloves or your pot holder, just uh, double up maybe on this one. 34.99, it's great value for money. And this, panel is adorable you will absolutely love this if you missed debbie yesterday so let me open this up it's huge 
Sorry, it's going to be quite difficult to show. I might need to do it on the... Uh, there we go, have a look. From there, maybe, you can see. Oh, I love them. So, Debbie's collected these cow creamers every year and our Tom, who's our graphic designer, has worked with Debbie to create these panels. It's a digitalise, digital, digital, he's digitalised them. And they're amazing. These are completely exclusive to us. You can't get them on Debbie's website. They're exclusive to us. She's teamed up with us to be able to create these panels. And the value for money is fantastic because you've obviously got the, the tea cosy. You've also got your pot holder. You've got your oven gloves as well. And I'm just thinking, all from the panel. If you wanted to be really, really savvy, I don't know whether Debbie suggested this, but I presume that she will have done, you could use vanilla early bird, type in vanilla early bird onto the website, and you could use a solid, you don't need to necessarily use it all for the inside of your oven mitts or the inside of your tea cosy, don't get me wrong, you've got all the fabric to be able to do a very indulgent tea cosy cover, but you could just use fabrics from your stash, couldn't you, or the base of your pot holder, and then have more and more to make. You've also got the lovely Debbie Shaw um, labels as well, the quilting labels, and she was saying yesterday that, uh, I mean, a lot of designers would, you have to ask, of course, the, uh, you have to ask permission normally from the designer. The designer's giving you permission once you've made things you can make to sell. So if you are doing um, craft fair stalls maybe, if you're doing craft fairs, and these would be lovely as well to have on your store. They're beautiful, aren't they? The plique around these, or the, the, the colours are really nice in the green. You do get one of the cows spare as well. We also have it in pink, so exactly the same again, your Thermalan, your instructions, this time with the pink panel, which is the ones that you've seen on the set. So again, I'm going to open this up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right, hang on. I'll just pop that down like this. So you have your panel to make your oven gloves, your pot holder. See, you've got the reverse fabric, it's a reversible one, but you could just use like a cream on that, couldn't you, and have it as it is. Uh, but you also have this beautiful fabric, even in the lining. It's lovely. So this is uh, one of the prints that's on her cow creamer. And she's taken it, and uh, Tom's taken it and made it into a digital print. How cute! I do love them. Oh, I do love them. Just thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence. Wow. To complement them, we've bought just the thermal, uh, the the panels, so no thermal and no instructions. So um, if you do want the panels on their own, the pink panel is not this one. Is it a different one then? Ah, I'm with you. So if you want to make the kitchen makes, definitely get your instructions to go with. But if you do want these lovelier prints and patterns, then we've got them in just panels as well. So the green one first. Move these out of the way. Sturdy. They're really lovely quality cotton, I must say. They're really, really nice. She's got some really beautiful cotton with these as well. You can feel the quality. So, if you do just want to make... Oh, she's so Tom's also, or Debbie's named the, uh, the creamers as well. So we've got Daisy. Penelope and Dorothy. Well, any way around, but named them as well. How cute's this? Only launched yesterday, were really, really popular indeed. Those of you that missed out, uh, if you didn't know Debbie was here yesterday, definitely worth making the most of them while you can. You've also got these lovely strips as well, your um, printed gingham. How nice are they? 
Oh, I wonder what you're thinking of making. I wonder what you're thinking of making. We had lots of ideas yesterday. I think Debbie made an apron. She also made a table mat. There's loads of ideas that you could do. You could plique them onto front of bags. I'll do it in half so it's easy for you to see, Paul. And the pink colourway, it's really pretty, isn't it? £19.99 pence, and the detail is fantastic, I must say. So if you're a, 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 a pliqueing, I mean, you've got really lovely, I like the background of these as well. They've got a, a slight sort of spot, motley background. Really like it. Floral's nice, isn't it? That floral print is so nice. You could do straps on a bag with these, couldn't you? Or use it for your EPP, use it in your patchwork. Loads of prints. If you do want to watch uh, yesterday's show back, you can do it on YouTube. 9am yesterday, Debbie was on. And you can catch up on our YouTube channel uh, so you can see the inspiration and uh, her talking more about her Brand new panels, only launched yesterday. We weren't supposed to show them on today's show, but we had to as soon as um, Debbie's normally here on a Sunday. Okay. Thermalan on its own, right. Uh, just because we were talking to Delphine uh, about doing, uh, what was it, the different placemats and table mats. If you are using heat alongside your projects, this isn't heat proof but it is heat resistant. It's also actually the other way around. It's uh, if you're making lunch bags and you want to keep it cold, it'll keep the heat in or it'll keep the cold in. So these are really, really nice for lunch bag, bog, uh, lunch, what am I trying to say? Bags, lunch bags. Yeah, uh, five pounds, 99, and you get a whole meter. It's like a compressed fleece, and it is a Visaline official project, uh, product. So if you do want to, to, to have a look on their website, there's lots of instructions, but you can just sew through it as normal. They do advise if you are using it as a heat uh, compressed fleece, then to use two layers. Five pound, 99 for a meter, and it will come already as a meter piece cut. Great though, isn't it? Yeah, we'll put this away quickly because we weren't supposed to show that either today. Rebel cat, aren't you? Our exclusive doorstops have been so popular. Of course, we are Sewing Street. So we've been asking you as well at home of what other shops you want to see on Sewing Street. What would be your pick, Paul? What would be your pick for your shop on Sewing Street? So we've had somebody who said they want... Um, uh, for a veg shop, maybe. Green grocers you could have. Yeah, absolutely. We've got haberdashery and we've got a florist. So you've probably seen these already made up. They're so good. I love these little projects because all of the little elements are replique. So you get your instructions exclusive to us. Uh, you have all of your lovely Sewing Street instructions. Yours will be nice and new, newly printed. All of your instructions. Oops. And then also you get your bonder web, which is enough to be able to make your doorstop. And then is this um, both of them? Yeah, you'll be able to make both. You also get, along with your panels, toy filling and your poly wadding. There's your florist. So you can personalise it and make it as you wish. So you've got the clocks, you've got the hanging baskets, you've got the nice little windows with the cat in. They're so lovely, aren't they? Your bunting as well, your little labels, stitched with love. What a great gift for somebody moving in. Nice moving in gift. My friend's just moved house, actually. I, I'm thinking, what can I make for her? And I, I always think a doorstop's really handy. We've got very heavy doors in our um, in our flat, so they're, they are great. Uh, this one, let me show you this panel as well. This is your haberdashery shop. Of course, we couldn't be Sewing Street without a haberdashery shop. I think we need a pub, don't we, next? What could we call it? 
the thimble, the thimble, yeah. You, we need a dentist, did you say, Kat? A gin distillery. I look on a cake shop. Oh, a nice bakery with nice scones. Bakery. Oh, that would be lovely. You've been baking lots during lockdown. Made loads of bread. Very good. You also get, by the way, your um, toy filling and you get your poly uh, If you do want to make it weighty, don't forget £5.99, the polythene pellets are back in stock. Right. So, they're the doorstops. I'll show you, in fact, let's have a closer look at the, uh, the finished doorstops. We'll have a look, because they are so cool. Have you seen these yet, Paul? They're great, aren't they? That's your haberdashery shop, your florist. You've got the roofs and the details with the little tab as well. Maybe a jeweler's, yeah, jewellery maker. A sister channel. Just $29.99 and you get both of the panels. Brilliant, thank you. We're hopefully going to be bringing more soon. We'll be bringing more soon. When are we back with Kerry? She's going to be back joining us soon, isn't she? I feel like maybe Thursday. I'm not here. Am I here on Thursday? Right. I'm not sure. I have no idea. I still can't keep up with the days. Can you? I'm still so bad. No idea what day it is. I didn't know I was here tomorrow. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't realise it was Sunday today even. It's only when you just said to me, oh, yeah, Debbie's normally here on a Sunday. I was thinking, yeah. You're right. I think that's why I've gotten a bit of a kerfuffle with my days this week. We've got living in loveliness anyway. So, Kerry, who is absolutely amazing. She's one of the, the most exciting additions to Sewing Street. And she brings us the most beautiful packages, packed so beautifully, uh, making, this is the wall hanging cat in the Liberty option. I've got Liberty and, Oh, I think it's the same one. It's just so you can see how beautifully presented these come, all wrapped in tissue paper. Nice little uh, note from Kerry as well. And she's packed it with absolute gorgeousness. So this is the Maya wall storage, which you can adapt. I know somebody's made it that they put the onto a strap for on a car to organise things in the car. You could organise it for things like hair, things in little girls' bedrooms, or in my bedroom, I need a one to keep all of my little hair bubbles and grips and things like that. You could have it to keep all of your marking tools on the back of your craft room door. But it's a great wall storage. It comes with all of your fantastic instructions with lots of photographs. You can also watch the demo back on YouTube. We'll find out what day it was. Um, you've got all of your templates. And then let's dive in. Back quarters a beautiful summer flower show range from a Liberty. <gasps> She's picked gorgeous, gorgeous colours. Some of our favourites, aren't they lovely? And this one, all fat quarters, all Liberty, and your bosal as well, just to give it that bit of structure. Your bosal, so that's everything that you need for the front. It doesn't have a back, but if you want to add a back, then you can do from your stash or have a look on the website if you do want to add any more liberty to your order. But if you hang it up on the wall, you don't see the back anyway. It was on the 2nd of July, the 2nd of July. So if you do want to make the most of it. Oh, in fact, there it is. You can see it hanging up on the back of the wall. And of course you can personalize it into what it is that you want to store in there. So you can make it sort of smaller if you're doing your marking tools. You can make it bigger if you're putting something larger in. You've got these bigger pockets here and Kerry spoke how to do those. Uh, and you can hang it like with a, a dowel and a, a piece of ribbon, or you can sort of personalize it to however you want to use it. You could do it as a roll even, couldn't you? But having it with Liberty is so indulgent. It's beautiful. You know how much we love our Kerry. She's so, so lovely. Have you met her yet, Paul? Kerry, you haven't met her, have you? Oh, she's so nice. Okay. The Katie cushion. Once again, always presented so beautifully. Uh, 
the Katie cushion I did with with Kerry last week, you get your uh, instructions and your pattern. It was on that same date, just so you know, it was the 2nd of July if you want to watch it back on YouTube. Again, choosing Liberty. Uh, you're getting your cottons, uh, which are your solid planes, and then she's already pre-cut. So you're going to get all of these different beautiful liberties, bit of interfacing as well. You sew an interfacing and more liberty plus your wadding. And that's to make this with your Dresden plate. It's so pretty. Or on the reverse as well, so indulgent, full of liberty. And I think this would be really nice to do some echo quilting, maybe with one of the bright colours that we've got from the early bird. Detail though, see even your plain fabric, it's not actually a, it's not a plain, it, it's got the little detail, it's got the, the detail of the little spots in between as well. It's so gorgeous. Just about see it. Yeah, there you go. Whoa, that is close. There you go. Just so you can see, it's a little detail like that. Kerry thinks about, and it does make such a difference. The quilting's lovely as well, the echo quilting. See, she talks through exactly how to get this effect uh, on the show on the 2nd of July. All wrapped with loveliness, 29 pounds and 99 pence. If you do go onto the website, type in living in loveliness and you'll be able to see all of the kits that are available. I know a lot of them are limited, but she's very quickly become part of the furniture here, hasn't she, our Kerry? Um, so if you do want to make the most of any of her kits, if you love Liberty, oh, indulge in some of these beautiful kits, because she works a lot with Riley Blake as well, but Liberty's are always some of my favorites. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's, Talk about Alice in Glass. We were mentioning Alice in Glass earlier on, that we will come to the panel which we've launched, but the arrow cushion looks like this. I think all over the, the country, we've been admiring rainbow pictures and it just puts a smile on your face, doesn't it? Uh, so to be able to see these gorgeous colors together and to put that onto a, onto a cushion, I think would be beautiful. 39 pounds 99 is a great price as well. Really good price. Bearing in mind, look at how much fabric you're getting. So, in the kit, half a metre of all of these lovely prints. So, half a metre of your purple, half a metre of your green. I think this one's called crayon, isn't it? That's lovely. Pencil, close. So close. <gasps> Strawberry. Look at all the detail. Hydrangea and turtle. You're also going to get a metre of white to go with it. Saving eight pounds. Great price. Whether you're using this for that project or whether you're using it for uh, anything else. If you've got a project in mind, maybe even from the Tilda book from earlier on, there'll be some great projects to go with these. And it will have a completely different feel to the, the Tilda projects that we, that we were looking at earlier. But they are absolutely stunning. £39.99. It was on just two weeks ago with myself, the 25th, was it? 25th of June. 25th of June. Myself and Catherine. Okay. We also have it in this colourway, which is more of your sort of blues and greys. It's going to go with everything, isn't it? This is going to go with every, everybody's decor. £39.99, so that's the cushion and the back. You've got the fabric for the back and the binding as well. So once again, you've got a metre of your white. You have half a metre of your greys. I like this one as well, that's really nice. Can You can see that subtle s silver, it's so pretty. That one's called Unicorn. It doesn't have unicorn prints on it, it's just the colour, which is really lovely. You also have your blues, opal blue. Your grey, that one's called Cloud. 
This one's called Pepper. And Liberty, this one's called. Lovely purple. Deep blues and deep purples. Saving of eight pounds, 39 pounds and 99 pence. Now I think the book that this came from, which book is it? The Modern Patchwork. Modern Patchwork, which is our Hannah's favourite book. She actually spoke to Paul in buying to be able to get this in. She saw it on Instagram. It's a really, really cool book. You'll really like this, Paul. There's so many great projects in here. Uh, 14 beautiful, vibrant rainbow quilt projects. Okay, so it starts by talking you through the basics, talking through different colours, different fabrics, different essentials, different ways of using your cutting tools and marking tools, extra, f extra fun tools I use. So different ways of using like your rotating cutting mat and different sprays, butter spray. Uh, but if you then go through, you'll learn all of the different techniques before you then get to the projects. So. It's a great book, I mean, it's ever so clear, and the projects are so cool. Using nice big block colours to create some real vibrant quilts. If you've got any of the stash builders from earlier, I think the rainbow bundle's now sold out, by the way. I think the rainbow bundle ended up selling out, I'm not surprised, but some of these would look amazing with that rainbow bundle. Look at that one. Oh, do you want to see my favourite? There's the Ombre Compass Star Quilt. Love that. I'll show you my fave though. I think it's this one. Yeah, that one. How cool is this? That is so gorgeous. Uh, and not only do you make the quilts, you also can do the cushions to sort of match. So this is the, the quilt section. This one I call the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Isn't it? It's really it's sort of like 90s. So cool. And then you've got all of your cushions. That's a lovely cushion. This would be really nice with your solids. And then what about your batiks? Your barley pops. Do, 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 do. They'd be lovely. And that's the cushion that we've made with Catherine. The shaded arrows cushions. But you could also do the quilt to match. Using some of your favourite uh, printed fabrics would look lovely if you want to centralise, uh, fussy cut some of the prints. Yeah, squares. So uh, that's one of my favourite books. There's also a, a small sort of patchwork bag section or small patchwork projects like coasters, zippers, drawstring bag. It's a great book. It's really modern. And especially when rainbows have just been uh, putting smiles on our faces over the last few months, haven't they? So I, I really, really like that. 14 vibrant. But again, then again, you choose different fabrics. It's going to look completely different. You don't have to use rainbow fabrics, do you? Okay, we've got a stock warning on grey and purple um, arrows cushion, this one. There's only two bundles left. There's only two bundles, so if you fancy having a go at that, um, don't go wrong, if you've got the book, you could try anything, or if you've just got a project in mind, uh, there's nothing to say you need to make this cushion. You get a metre of white, and then you get half a metre of all of those other Alison glass, which work so together. They really, really do. They look lovely together. They almost have that bit of an ombre feel to it. They're gorgeous. Earlier on today, we launched one of the most, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. It's really contemporary, it's really fun, and we love it. So, um, we have two different bundles today, two different kits. For anybody who missed the 8 a.m. show, because normally we uh, have Delphine in at 9 a.m. But because of the demand, we've said, right, let's get her on at eight so that everybody has a chance of buying it because it's quite often sold out. We've got plenty of these available. We made sure that we buy as many kits as we can and put together as many kits as we can for you. So do make the most of it. You're lucky to see this still available at the moment. Uh, the final quilt looks like this. It is so cool, the Highland Cow with a bit of a modern twist. So you can personalize as you wish. You can see there, they've all been named. Uh, there's 
Howard with the headphones on. You've got Hank with his sunglasses on. You've got Harley with the flower, the romantic with the hearts. And then you've also got Holt, who's ready for work in his tie. All of your, uh, all of your templates, Harley and friends, are all at the back there. That's your um, sort of positioning uh, template that Delphine was talking about in the, in the last hour. You, your centre uh, placement, your placement uh, diagram. And then all throughout, you've got great instructions. She did a brilliant demo earlier on, talks you through how to do all of the applique, how to cut the strips, how to put them together, which way to, to, uh, to, to fix them to your fabric and how to do that, all included for $49.99. And, and I must say, this is something that you are gonna use multiple times. We had ideas of putting them onto the back of denim jackets, onto, uh, onto bags, you could put them onto cushions, wall hangings, they'd look great. Today though, we used it with the Alison Glass print. She used five of the circles on this panel. You're getting eight. There's eight of your Alison Glass panels, which are so lovely. And each of them are different, I know that, Delphine was fussy cutting, so you could fussy cut round any of the, the butterflies and applique them onto it, using the background as well. I've never looked at this panel using it the way that Delphine's used it today, and it looks brilliant. The triangles between the, the circles, so it started off by focusing on this section of the panel. Uh, the colours go perfectly with it as well, so you get half a metre of your pink, half a metre of your chartreuse, half a metre of your yellow, half a metre of your blue, and then you also get two and a half metres of elephant, which is that lovely grey, and it goes perfectly with the panel. The other option available comes again with your instructions, with your panel, with all of your colour fabric, and then it also comes with, instead of the grey, it will come with white. So you get two and a half metres of white as well. So if you do want to have that lovely, dramatic, stark background, like the cushions that we had, uh, they do look amazing. I know Delphine made it up in the, the sample today with the white background, and I must say it looked gorgeous with that dramatic background. $49.99, so that's the other option. And it comes, of course, with your applique instructions and templates. I know Delphine's kits are known for selling out, so be careful on that one. We made sure that we had plenty available in stock, but still extremely popular today. Okay. Now, I think this was with Sally Ann. Um, I think it was. It was, um, I think it was Sally Ann. I think it was my birthday show, wasn't it? The Starry Night. Uh, this is your, it's such a cool design because it gives you almost a bit of an optical illusion. It's amazing. Uh, your instructions make up an 85 inch square quilt. And then you also have in here all of these incredible boutiques. Now they're all already cut, ready to go. Uh, I say ready to go, you still need to sub cut from them, but just to, to make it as cost effective as possible, it's all been bundled and kitted and cut for us. So this is unlike any other kit that we've got in at the moment, this has been bundled already. Uh, all of the fabrics designed to go so, so well together and they are boutiques. They're boutique fabrics, they're stunning. I must say, even if you've got another project in mind, look at these fabrics. You could really, really indulge in all of these. They are gorgeous. And you also have uh, all of this white for the background as well. You get loads and loads of white to make a big quilt. Aren't they stunning? If you want to watch the show back, it was on the 23rd of April. 23rd of April if you want to watch the show back, but they are all absolutely stunning. Let me show you, I'll try and open out part of the, the quilt so you can see even a quarter of it. It's so cool, honestly, you need to see this as, uh, you need to see this all full, but you can see it's mesmeric. Paul's word of the day. Mm. 
99.99 for all of that gorgeous fabric and it does just add such texture using batiks i love batik prints they're lovely uh and again against the white background like i said with the last one it's, it's quite dramatic isn't it love the blues whenever we do blue kits always extremely popular indeed right so over the last 12 weeks has it been 12 weeks 13 weeks we've been doing john Cole morgan's quilt his block of the week the next one will start really soon as well so if you missed the first lot don't worry you can still catch up and you can still purchase them uh, and watch back on youtube every week every friday john Cole morgan does his block of the week and you do a so along at home so i haven't I haven't got them physically here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you lots of pictures on the website. If you go to the web, you'll be able to see them really clearly. But uh, they're all labelled block one, block two, block three, block four, block five, and so on and so forth. And then there was a sashing show and a sort of finishing quilting show as well. We've got the bundles of blocks one to 12. So as I say, if you go onto our website, um, You'll be able to see you'll be able to see them blocks one to twelve. You can get as a whole bundle for one hundred and forty three pounds and eighty eight pence. There you go. So you've got block one, block two, block three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And in each uh, sort of section, you get your instructions and you get your panel to go with. So you get instructions and a panel for each block. We also have the bright version. So that's the vintage. We've also got bright, which again looks amazing. Um, H I X C 46. There we are. 143.88 pence. So that's the blues. You can see those really lovely. It's called bright. Oh no, hang on. It's the wrong picture, isn't it? All wrong graphic. That's the bright and it's got the blues. We'll try and spot the picture. So the graphics are live at the moment for your brights, uh, which is yellow and blue and red. Nice. And then we have got the blue as well. We'll show you in a second, but the picture looks like that. There you go. So that's your brights. You get block one to 12, instructions and panels. If you do want to watch them back, it's been on every Friday. You can still catch up and sew along with everybody else. Please do put your pictures on the Facebook fan page. We'd love to see your finished quilts. You've got to make sure that you put a quilt label on your lockdown quilts as well. The last 12 weeks, my word. And it, maybe this has been your first big quilting project. I'm so excited to see. It's great to be able to sew along. Just simple techniques, simple blocks uh, and building our skills. And now hopefully you'll be able to conquer any quilt pattern that somebody gives to you. So then we have got the blues. There's the image. Instructions, panel. 143 pounds and 88 pence everything that you're getting there if you are just missing one or two go onto the website search the word block of the week and then you'll be able to find them individually as well so we have still got them on the website as individual but if you just want to go for it if you miss the whole 12 weeks then you can still get all of those blocks um uh, in the different colorways 143 pounds 88 pence fantastic do not forget as well if you've added anything to your basket these have just come back into stock so i wanted to remind you your polythene recycle pellets five pound 99 it's weight isn't it to say that it doesn't come under any extra postage because you know when i go to the post office the first thing that they say is put it on the scales that's normally how you do postage, isn't it? Gosh, don't get me started on this though, because I've done uh, a little bit of online shopping and I've had to take it back and they didn't do free returns. So it cost me more to return it than it actually cost. Rant over. But the great thing about this is of course, you, uh, you only, uh, you're paying £3.95 and that's £3.95 all day long, no matter if you're just buying the early bird, if you're buying a book, if you're buying a kit, if you're buying a sewing machine, 
you get the lot for five pounds and 99 pence. It's a whole kilogram of recycled polythene pellets. There's different ways of, of um, using it, but what about for things like door stops, if you manage to get any of those kits or draft excluders? Anything you want to weigh down. It's just five pounds and 99 pence. I can hear our Liam outside. Yeah. He's ever so loud, isn't he? He's very, um, he's got a bellowing deep voice. He's producing on Jewelry Maker today, but it's very loud. Five pounds and 99 for your plastic pellets. Um, do check out as soon as you can on those because they've only just come back into stock and lots of people making the most of them. Shall we do an EPP kit? If you like our cat and have gotten into your hand sewing over the last few months, uh, if you want a nice little project, because the thing is with EPP, I find a lot of people who simply do it as a relaxing, slow sew. And then they're like, right, actually, what do I do with all this EPP I've been doing? I've, done, I've prepared all my hexes, I've stitched them together, but then I don't know what to make it into. And don't get me wrong, I quite like just keep going and keep going and keep going and see what happens. But if you do want a project, an achievable project, then this one is your June showers. It comes with your Fabby's hexes, so you get 200 of your pre-laser cut paper pieces. You're then getting all of these fabrics. Now, what I would do as a tip is to number the back of them. So number them with a, a pen, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So once you've cut them out, you know which way to stitch them together to create this lovely pattern. So this could be the front of your cushion. You've then got another co uh, coordinating fabric for the back. Or you could use your cream or vanilla as your back and use this as a second cushion and applique some of these hexes onto it. So there's lots of options. You've got also um, your lovely quilt labels as well, your handmade with love by. You've got four of those, so they're nice for... Um, whoa, I felt a bit seasick then, did you? <laughs> um, but then you've also got all of your lovely applique. And think about how much it would cost you if you're looking at all of these different prints. I mean, that's one, two, three, four, plus all of your other ones. You've got another uh, fabric here, essentially. For less than 20 pounds, you've got a really nice cushion project there. Plus, these are reusable. Reuse these, absolutely. Be careful when you're taking them out and you'll be able to reuse them. You get 200 of your hexes ready to go. Saves you time, doesn't it? Saves you lots of time having to, instead of, um, Instead of having to cut your own and draw them all out and measure them out, that's great to be able to have those all ready to go. Okay, so that's your uh, EPP project ready to go. It is exclusive to us as well, exclusive panel to us. I like the colours on that, do you? I think that's really lovely colours. The oranges and the teals go really nicely together. So we've also got a glue pen. Now, I thought you said the sew line one, it was the refills are out of stock, but the pen. You might just have to get yourself a new pen, another pen. You can never have too many pens. So, it, all, it comes with one already in there, but then you'll also get another refill in your pack. It's just £6.99. It doesn't matter that it says a blue refill because it dries completely clear. Now, it's not like a normal Pritt stick or craft glue. It is a specially designed glue for sewers and fabric. So it's not going to gum up your needle on your machine if you're using it to insert zips. Uh, it's not going to gum up your needle when you're hand sewing. It's not going to damage your fabric. It is a specially made glue for sewing. But it is fab to not have to use pins all the time if you're positioning your fabric. It's water soluble so it'll wash out when you, uh, when you put it in the wash. Uh, if you want to change it, simply roll right up to the top pop one off and then pop the next one back on and then again twist it just like a normal sort of pen. And you use it sparingly. You can put it onto your fabric, you can put it onto your papers. If you normally hand tack, if you normally hand baste with your EPP, give it a go. There are so many people who I know who were a bit on the fence about using a glue pen with EPP and then used it and have never looked back. It's definitely worth having a go with them. Uh, I think you can use it in conjunctions with your 
prim the same refills as well, can't you? Uh, £6.99 though, it's, it's good to have one in your pencil case ready to go on the move and one at home, one maybe by your bed if you're doing it before, before you go to sleep, doing a bit of sleep, a uh, bit of a uh, sewing. Really? Janice had never used one before and Debbie was telling Janice about it yesterday for inserting zips. Absolutely ideal uh, for inserting zips as well. Just £6.99. pence. <laughs> Amazing. So we've got some Orphil. Your Aravel necessities, four huge spools. I mean, on each spool, you've got 1,300 metres. 1,300 metres on each spool. We are spoiling you. And they're 50 weight. They're really beautiful quality. They're Italian cotton thread, 100% cotton. I know a lot of quilters who choose to use they want to match up with what fabrics they're using. So if they're quilting with cotton, it's, it's definitely worth thinking about what threads you're using to, uh, to to piece them together. They are beautiful quality, as I said, made in Italy. And I know a lot of quilters who only use, only use or a film. Remember with your 50 weight as well, uh, this is sort of universal. You can use this in your machine, you can use it in your bobbin, you could use it for a plique, you can use it for your piecing, you can use it for your quilting. Use it for hand sewing. Grey is a great colour to use for EPP actually because it sort of blends in. I know Janice yesterday was using grey thread on a, on a dress and she was saying, oh, it's going to show up on my blue dress. But actually it just works. It blends in a lot better than if you were to use a stark colour. So grey is a great one to have. But breaking it down, it's, it seems like quite a, an investment, but actually when you're breaking down, uh, you know, the, the quality of it and, and how much you get on a spool, it's gonna last. It really is gonna last the test of time. 35 pounds, 99. It's lovely thread, isn't it? It is beautiful quality, as I said, made in Italy. And it's just such a luxury. We think about the fabrics. Maybe you're investing in Liberty Prints or uh, you're a designer fabrics. If you're on that part of your journey, your sewing journey, then you should think about what thread you're using as well to piece them together. Makes sense, doesn't it? So that's your necessities. There's some lovely colours out there that Aurifil do. Definitely have a look on the web shop again because we've teamed up with Aurifil. Tula Pink have got a collection with Aurifil. They are world renowned for their absolute top, 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 top quality threads. Um, so definitely worth making the most of those. If you loved the applique projects uh, earlier on with Delphine, if you want to have a go at making the Highland Cow, obviously with the, the kit you did get a pack of bond web, but today it's just £2.99. We had the roll. Oh no, we didn't do it with the bond web. So if you do need some for any of your applique projects, you get a meter. Maybe if you're just doing a small project and you're thinking, do you know what, I, I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if I want to commit to a whole five metre roll. <laughs> Go for it, it's £2.99. This is one of those that you're in the already in the queue at the till and you just see something at the end and you think, oh yeah, I might as well add that. Maybe I wouldn't queue up in a, you know, in the shop for, for something for just 2 99 Remember, you've got your posting packaging, it's 3 95 So if you've bought something already, this is one of those that I would add to your order. You're always going to use it. Bondo Web's incredibly useful to have for PK projects. Oh, I'm so pleased. One of the most popular books today has been the, the 50 Fat Quarter Toys book. It's adorable. I just love it. I love the photographs. I love the colours. I love the instructions. Your templates are great. Full to scale templates. And some really fun projects. Crane roll, four in a row, Skittles. There's so many great projects. Toys in here. But different to any other um, toy book I've seen. Soldier, Kitty Doll, Gingerbread Man, Little Red Riding Hood, your little cat, with their outfits on. Peekaboo, oh, that's cute, isn't it? Just £12.99 for 50 projects. It makes it about 20p a project, doesn't it? It's crazy. 
Spencer project. And these are all brilliant that, you know, if you're doing games like this, you can throw it in the wash. You're not filling your home with lots of plastic toys. This is, you know, friend, it's, we're, we're getting more aware, aren't we, of sustainability and being more eco-friendly. I know Paul has got a huge passion for that. So things like this, I think, would be a lovely gift for somebody. Maybe, you know, uh, someone with young children. These are great fun. Look at that. A huggable ukulele. Oh, my word. That's what you need, Paul, isn't it? He just needs a hug. It's just as he was like, I just want to give you a hug and I can't. Oh, you little owl glove puppet. £12.99. Oh, is that a mermaid? How have I not seen that one? Oh, I hope it is. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look, it's a mermaid tail to put on to dolls. That's good, isn't it? Love it, love it, love it. £12.99. Hello, Rosemary. Thank you for your photograph. Rosemary's got in touch with us this morning. What has she said? Made this block. Oh, nice. Using the fat quarters that we had earlier on, the purples. Really nice. I put yellow with it like, uh, she put yellow with it. She put yellow with it like I picked out, actually. That looks great, doesn't it? That looks brilliant. Thank you for your pictures. We love to see your makes. Keep them coming in. Uh, tomorrow's show. I'm back with you tomorrow morning. I'm on, uh, yeah, I am on tomorrow. Eight o'clock, the bucket bag with Catherine. Is she here? She must be here. I've not met her. I've seen her virtually. Uh, but we're meeting Catherine probably tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock. Oh, we're going to do some beautiful rainbow fabrics. Fabrics make us all smile at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Oh, hang on. We've just taken all the mega bundle. We're going to have to see if we can rebundle that. Uh, 10 o'clock. The bolster cushion at 10 o'clock. I'm guessing that's with Catherine again. And 11, I'm going to be talking about the 780 plus and also the eight, uh, 864 air threading overlocker, which has been a very, very popular overlocker from Elna. It's gorgeous. And then we'll do a repeat of Delphine's quilt. Um, don't forget, there's going to be another hour of the replay today, which was from Debbie Shaw, yesterday's show. Is it, Jan is, is it going to be her and Janice? Janice is first down. You'll be able to watch back if you missed it. And then stay tuned because then we head over to our sister channel, Jewelry Maker, where I will be back. So I'm there. I'm literally running across to the other studio now and I'm jumping on air from 12 till 2 and then 2 till 4 at Jewelry Maker. So come join me if you'd like to tr maybe try a new hobby or try a new skill. Paul, it's been a pleasure being with you back today. Are you back in tomorrow? Back yeah. Tomorrow. Dream team back tomorrow. Cat? Oh, Cat's not here. We'll have a lovely, lovely show though, so please do join me. Thanks for your company. Enjoy your day, enjoy the sunshine, and we'll see you bright and early tomorrow at 8 o'clock. <laughs>